Hello guys, I'm back. After a little bit of exercising and eating some dinner, I... Back with some more. Persona 5 Royal. Uh, last time we beat the crap out of my Moderatome. All the crap out of him. Um, so yeah, we just gotta uh, blow up some days. Definitely said that correctly. <laughs> but... Gotta mess around for a couple days before uh, it's over. My proficiency is like up. You know, I'm thinking back. I feel like I should not have um really worried about proficiency. Like I should not have been really crafting or not crafting, but reading or watching books slash DVDs that pertain to proficiency. <laughs> because again, just crafting alone. Will be enough to um oh yeah four lock picks okay so actually i was about to craft some more but we do not need any of that look at all these again uh materials because again uh, we upgraded the item drops in mementos and so now we get four items per like item cube so we have so much stuff. Um, no, I do want to... Oh, wait. Oh. We gave it a big heaping pile of uh, plant nutrients, so we probably don't have to put any uh, fertilizer on it for a while. But yeah, I was thinking about just studying. So we finished the DVD, and to get to later levels of Makoto's, uh, social link, we do need a lot of knowledge, and knowledge is one of the social stats that take forever to level up, so let's definitely keep on top of it while we have the time. You know, that was one thing I always kind of wanted to do or try, is like uh, flip a pen around in my fingers <laughs> like that. Wait, I cannot do that. But yeah, um, I know from Makoto, again, we need level 5 knowledge to get to rank 10, I believe. Um, I do remember that from my first playthrough. I'm not sure if it's different, you know, in uh, Royal, but I doubt it. So as much as we can, we will study. I'm pretty sure these cutscenes happen after every calling card slash stealing of treasures. As a job well done. Yet one step closer. Our master is pleased. Oh yeah. It's funny because even Igor seems as if he doesn't know about the other Persona user that's in there. Who could it be? Uh, they did say Black Mask, so what if it's Makoto? That'd be really interesting. I don't remember actually. Because I know Akechi is Red Mask. But even then... I don't remember. Anyway, we got next rank up with our fool, Arcana. Um, I'm assuming once we get to the next rank, we'll increase our persona uh, slots. I really forget though. Okay, that's not for that mental shutdown. Hmm. Is that the change of heart? Uh, could be. So, so far, I think the story's a little different. In terms of, like, these mental shutdowns. Because Kamachita didn't have a mental shutdown yet. Uh, I don't remember when it happens in the original. But it did not happen yet. And it might not happen at all. I don't know. 
pretty sure it happened pretty like right away. Like when he did the confession, I think he went vegetable. <laughs> but he did not do that also. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, the cleanup event is the day after tomorrow. My class is, has to go to the opposite direction of, you know, Kashira Park. I'm looking. I'm kind of looking forward to it. And that honor student is actually in my group. Oh, honor student, Makoto. Huh? What? Is she like your type or something? Either way, too bad. I hear honor students are exempt from the cleaning. Totally unfair, am I right? What? So am I al alone on a team of upperclassmen then? This sucks. I want to just ditch now. Uh, one cleanup event isn't going to improve the school's image. True. What? She's exempt from the cleanup. How precious is this honor student? We have to go to Inokashira Park in our stupid gym clothes. She's not coming, right? I wish I could dish this event too. We're meeting at Inokashira Park. I better remember that. Let's see who we will hang out with. Oh yeah, something happened to me the other day. I almost got kidnapped. A what? Uh, who would kidnap a cat? I'm not a cat! <laughs> well, it doesn't matter if you're a cat or not, but you look like a cat. That said, I don't actually have a clue why I was targeted. Some girl had this crazy look in her eyes and she was chasing me around calling me a snowball or something. I wonder if she's been going after other cats and snatching them up like she tried with me. Try checking the fan site and see if anyone's saying anything about it. I think before we- oh, I wasn't able to find any relevant posts. I think before we go back to Mementos, I do want to just wait till the next uh, story arc. So uh, we probably won't go back to the Metaverse for now until, again, the next arc starts. Maybe it's just not as well known a uh, well-known problem yet. The only victims are cats, so I suppose that could be the case. Let's try asking around in Yongin and see if we can find the culprit. Oh, <laughs> Mona requests. Oh, there's three items, three things. Uh, so we can actually hang out with all three. It looks like. You got plans today? Mm, I can't just uh, sit around and do nothing. I'm still in the hallway, so let me know if something comes up. I uh, haven't got home yet. Uh, how are you, my little guinea pig? If you're in good health, I'd like to do a test on you. I'll give you a special discount on my medicine. What if you get a nosebleed from all the excitement? Yeah, we can upgrade our rank with her. Be honest, am I actually getting stronger? I've been working really hard, but I haven't noticed any change. Anyway, would you mind hearing me out again? Are you free today? Yeah, I can rank up with both of those. I think I will probably hang out with Anne more so than the doctor. I think and Ryuji's also. There you are. Yeah, they're both three. Uh, does it tell us what's next? It does not tell us what's next. Mm. I don't think the calendars say what days we can hang out with people, which is unfortunate. Uh, I don't know. Maybe just hang out with Ryuji. This idea of a chariot, I believe. Uh, dude, I really want to talk, or I guess more like vent. Yep, we can go ahead and hang out with Riji. He's right here. Hang out with him. It's kind of far, but it's totally worth the flavors out of this world. Anyways, it's in Ogi Kubo. So let's take a train over there. Oh, it looks like a new place. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, a quite and convenient. Residential district famous for its ramen. Lip smacking good ramen. The deep flavor of old style soy broth is worth the long wait in line. Nice. Uh, 
down. Mm. Oh, I love the feeling of noodles sliding down my throat. What? <laughs> Why you gotta say it like that, Ryuji? Sweat dripping over my face. What the heck, Ryuji? <laughs> this shit's the best, man. Ramen is life. A uh, light soup like this really gets your body going again after a good run, you know? We used to come all the way out here after practice and... Oh, no. Eh, I guess that's all in the past. Uh, by the way, I've seen Nakaoka uh, around a few times, but for some reason it, it don't look like he's getting along with the others. Uh, are you worried about him? Yeah, kind of. Uh, I've been thinking about what he said, uh, how the whole track team was putting up with Kamashita's shit, and now I effed it up, uh, all up, or I effed it all up for them. I think he was right. Uh, they don't even got a club room anymore, so they've been storing all their stuff behind the gym. They can't use any uh, school gear either, so they just run laps around the block for practice. There ain't really a place for an outcast like that. I should know that better than anyone. It's good they're keeping their heads low now, uh, though. I don't want them ending up like me. Uh, but you're doing great. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, uh, trying to fit in is a real pain in the ass. I mean, I'd never met you guys if I wasn't an outcast, right? So, uh, it's all good. For real though, it's been a shit ton of fun hanging out with you guys. It's so freaking cool. Nice. There's no follow-up question. Uh, stealth dash makes you less likely to be found in the metaverse while dashing. I wonder if you have to have Ryuji in the party for that to kick in, however. I just hope there's something I can do to help those track guys. Uh, though it'd probably mess them up if I tried to butt in. Uh, oh yeah, he's, we still gotta find a new spot for our training. Hmm, I'll think about it. No slacking off to then, okay? Sounds good. Um, I wonder if I should do the uh, washing machine. I might be able to hang out with a soldier though. Oh yeah, the speech guy. Oh, but soldier was ready too. Hmm, coffee. How many choices? Again, I still don't have the actual link with this guy, so go ahead and get this. There have been far too many incidents recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? The runaway train, train incident, mysterious blah 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 blah. Okay, we talked about this already. Up to you that permeates society is a direct result of negligence by our government and the media. Hey, about Yoshida's speech skills, uh, we should make use of them when you negotiate with shadows. Mm, good idea. Right, you should ask him. Teach you how to give speeches? Why? Uh, I don't think they give us answers for this. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like I, I want to do what you do. I'd love to help you, though. Uh, how shall I teach you? It's time for my speech. Let's talk about this later. See, I did not create this. <laughs> I'm just standing there. And while society appears to be prosperous, or prosperous, many of our young people are quietly suffering. This kind of sounds like current day <laughs> situation. What? The old goat. Uh, let's mediate. Good citizens, please stop. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, the heck? That's awkward. 
ダメトラの取りプルプレーだ。3 did I say that? <laughs> Question about background. Accused of embezzlement. Um, however, he has conviction and wants to change the world. Public speaking skills could be useful to the Phantom Thieves, so I'll make a deal with him. Uh, I don't care about your past. そう言ってくれるのは嬉しいが、当選の見込みもないと言われる男だぞ。<笑><笑> <laughs> I am strange. Sounds good to me. We get that sun social link. よこくまでして劇場型の犯罪を演出する。高校生の君だけでできる代物とは思えない。大人の誰か。例えば人身を動かす伝説の持ち主。そんな指導者でもいたんじゃ。I think なんじ、ここに新たなる地切りを得たり。地切りはすなわち、囚われを破らんとする反逆の翼なり。我、太陽のペルソナの生誕に祝福の風を得たり、自由へと至る、さらなる力となら。ノイス。よし。今はなくて
The Dean? What's up? I'm sorry, there's something I forgot to mention. Uh, it's about my speech schedules from this point on. Uh, would you be willing to stick around to hear it? Uh, let me write this down. Mm, quite a practical young man, eh? Well, I won't take up too much of your time. I'll be here giving my speeches every Sunday. You're welcome to drop by and help whenever uh, you've got the time. That's all I want to say. Now, uh, be careful on your way home. Sounds good. So that means we're going to be back tomorrow. <laughs> uh, who could that be at this hour? <laughs> it's... Ryuji. Mishima's real hyped up about finding our next big target. But something tells me he's just gonna get himself in trouble. Uh, maybe we should go uh, go with him. He said he was going to Harajuku. And I let Anne know too. Uh, couldn't hurt, right? We respond right away to a confidant's invitation without uh, putting it on hold. Your relationship will deepen. If you immediately respond to a message, your schedule for that day will be filled and you will be unable to do anything else that day. Be sure to con uh, consider an invitation before you commit. Well, the end's coming? Uh, I mean, fine. No big deal. What? But you still don't know Tokyo very well. This might be a good chance to get more familiar with the area or something. Uh, so what are your thoughts? Will you go to Harajuku with Ryuji? Uh, I think I might, actually. Mm, yeah, might as well. Alright, let's all meet up over there then. You're meeting everyone in Harajuku tomorrow, huh? Better get some rest, you don't want to oversleep. Nice. Uh, the fashion capital also known for starting many trends in food. Popular with tourists and trend-setting youngsters alike. Yes. Nice. You can all invite people to this place, Harajuku. <laughs> it's like, it's back to sleep. Hopefully I'm still able to go to uh, meet with the politician tomorrow. Whoa. I don't have the moon persona. It's so crowded, uh, just like I expected. The perfect place to start an investigation. But I gotta say, I wasn't expecting all of you to come along. I had a photo shoot nearby, so I figured, why not? But why Harajuku, uh, Mishima? Well, Harajuku's this big cultural hub, right? People from all over the world come here. So that means there might be all kinds of uh, international villains <laughs> walking around in broad daylight. I don't know if I get that logic. Uh, for example... Oh, check that guy out. He's definitely suspicious. I mean, who wears uh, black leather coats at this time of year? It's gotta be shady. And all those belts must be supplies so he can tie people up. Oh man, do you think he's an escaped convict? No, I'm pretty sure that's just a goth style. But my phantom thief sentence are tingling. Don't you think he's suspicious? Uh... What if this is a... thing? Uh... I don't think... there's actual things for this. Um, maybe hmm. I feel like it helps deepen if I kind of, yeah, exactly. Right? Look at him. He's definitely got this aura of evil around him. I wonder if it, like, depending on which one you choose, you get, like, social link with somebody else. But we do need it with Mishima, so. I'll do that. If you think he's that suspicious, then go talk to him. Huh? Me? You're the one who's all hyped up about this investigation, right? So hey, uh, go up to that guy and ask. Yo, Captain Trenchcoat, sorry to bother you, but are you a, an escaped convict? You've got to be kidding. He'd have that belt around my neck before I even finished talking. <laughs> uh, it's normal to see people dressed in unusual clothes here. Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, like, they've got the confidence to wear whatever they want, you know? Like, nothing's gonna keep them from expressing their own style. Cool or not, they're definitely not letting anyone hold them back. What do you think about th that unique fashion, uh, James? Uh, 
Do this little boost my thing with Anne. I don't want to try it. Oh, never mind. So Ryuji. Whoa, really? I guess we can spend the day transforming you. I'm thinking heart-shaped glasses, dye your hair red and blue, and we'll get you a big poofy laminated coat. You just want to make him wear the weirdest stuff you fi uh, can find. I'll coordinate James's wardrobe. Oh yeah. We could go for a, a bad boy look or maybe something princely. You've got good potential, so this should be fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, no more judging people by their appearance. If they're wearing what they want to wear, uh, that's something to admire. Heck, I'd say it means they're honest. Not like people who seem nice on the outside but turn out to be terrible. I guess you're right. Lady Anne is absolutely right. After all, I look like a cat, but I'm actually a dashing noble gentleman. Oh jeez. Now that I think about it, it's kind of um, harajuku y <laughs> what? to walk around with a cat in a bag. True, he's uh, like a really specialized fashion accessory. What? Is that a compliment? I guess you're lucky, James. You can get popular just by having me around. Uh, so, Mishima, I take it you didn't actually have any leads here? Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, figures. Uh, well, as long as you're, we're here, let's uh, have some fun. Then let's get James dressed up. Oh, and Mishima too. Maybe Ant can get rid of your weird anti-Harajuku prejudice. Huh? huh? Me too. Actually, if I've got any hidden talent for fashion, uh, this would be a perfect chance to discover it. Lady Anne, Lady Anne, help me get all fashionable too. All right, we can <laughs> squeeze in a trip to the pet shop for Morgana. I'm not a pet. <laughs> you know, Dream. Sometimes it sounds like your cat's really enjoying, uh, really joining in on the conversation. And then let's get going. Just follow me. I know a place. <laughs> it's all you, Miss Fashionista. I enjoyed Harajuku with everyone. I wonder if it's like we're all. We're gonna. I, was, I mean, I was gonna get, you know, three notes with everybody. Or I guess it does depend on the uh, responses. Oh, you're supposed to meet at, uh, you know, Kashira Park for school tomorrow. Uh, what did you forget? Kawakami said there was a community cleanup event. Oh, well, can I even hang out with uh, the politician today? Uh, Yusuke, any changes yet? How's Madarame? Nothing at the moment. Uh, he is still bedridden. Wait, you think this was too much for that old bastard's heart? There's no need to worry. His life does not appear to be in any danger. I hope we didn't F up on our first official mission. Can he talk at all? So far, all he has said to me is, I'm sorry. I've been able to speak to him since, though. He is in no state to hold a conversation. For real? If he ends up taking legal action against us, our leader will be in big trouble. You are under probation, correct? Uh, that would be problematic. Hey, we're gonna be okay, aren't we? Um, uh, I don't know. I will contact all of you if any progress is made. Let's just wait for the change of heart for now. Yeah, well, we'll be waiting for your your updates, Yusuke. Oh yeah, there's a TV thingy. Oh, we got Japanese gift set, which is this stuff. Or we got a folding screen set. Ooh. I think I want that. Proofs. Yeah, let's get this. So rich. <laughs> it's kind of interesting because I don't remember doing the TV thing. Uh, man, part of me kind of wants to just meet up with the this guy. Uh, oh, the place is calling. Are you available? Oh, well, it's the manager of Orinobeku. Apologies for the short notice, but would you mind coming in to work today? We ended up somewhat short staffed for today. I understand this is the very last minute, and your conversation will reflect that. Uh, no, I'm good. Uh, gotta go. Yo, short time no see. I know we just split up a second ago, but there's this move I gotta see. If you're not busy, we could go see it in Shibuya right now. 
The cake night rises. Oh, what? <laughs> it's an action flick. What do you say? Nah, I'm good. We, you know, we just hung out with him yesterday. Uh, I don't have my sun persona. I could obviously pull it out. I've been giving it, been giving it, I'm, I'll be giving a speech at the usual spot today. Are you, feel, are you free today? Do you think you could help out? I feel like I should uh, hang out with him. But I don't have a sun persona. Um, I think I'm level three with Sojiro. Yeah. So many Arcanists already. Many other people. All right. All right. All right. Velvet room it is. Sujin. Okay. So do you my, need my son persona? Wait. I want to get rid of Kodama. Star, I need sun. I did make a Suzuku, I think that was called. Where are you? Kodama. I guess I technically could make this. Because I don't really need Shisa anymore right now. Because I know I can't get rid of Fuki for a while. Or, can't make Fuki for a while since I'm not 23. Um, or can I make that? I can make this. Do I want to make that, actually? I don't mind making this either. I make let's make both. Screw it. So I don't need strength at all, and I don't have a star. Social link. Let's just do this. Um, move skills. Make my elements. Increase damage after baton pass. Sure. Are we using Shisa? Uh, maybe I should just do the two. Yeah, I don't need this at all. Let's do the two elements. Dewa. That black ooze. Me black who's uh, 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 become a mask. Maybe then I will gain shape. It'd be fun if they voiced like a lot of these personas. Got okay, strength though. Uh, next was Regent. Let's make it that new way. Don't really need the double shot. Strength isn't that great. It's just good because it's fast. <laughs> it's good speed. I believe, again, agility helps with dodging. But... Let's go and make this new way. Nice. Um... Mighty Gaze... Might be Mighty Gaze. Because I do have a lot of AoE moves, I think. Actually, I don't remember. So we got yeah we do. We got a lot of everything moves. <laughs> Jesus. Uh we already have Meha. Yeah, we can just do all these elements. Oh, so many elements. Why? Do I want my boo Maybe I don't want Moragi. Hmm. Second. Uh, I think I want this growth, actually, now that I think about it. 
Okay, don't have any more psychic though. Let's not have Moragi. Have psychic and growth. Right, let's commit to this. Alright, see a regent. The Matador. Alright. Skip that animation. Meet new A. Meet Mysterious. Now, me new mask. Nice to meet you. You're here. What's up, Mandeth? How are you? How's the end of your stream go? <laughs> yeah, we're in the uh, after parts of um, the Madarame arc. We just beat his ass last stream. Uh, thanks for helping early. No problem. Yeah, I was there. It was a fun little chat stream. It went well. Nice. Good. Good to hear. I kind of snuck out to do things and get ready for more Persona magic. Um... So yeah, we're just fusing. <laughs> but I think I just finished fusing. I don't think I want to make anything else. But I guess I can get rid of her or, yeah, this character. <laughs> Those pulsating Yoshis. Swipe. Um, but yeah, I do have this extra lovers that I kind of want to get rid of. But I don't want to get rid of certain things. So I do need Hero Font for Sojiro. I had already made Nekomata, so I can pull her out. Mm, I don't need I don't need a strength because that's the twins and yeah we don't need it present in our party. But he's buff as fuck though, nineteen strength. Hell yeah, I think I was gonna make him just because he's buff as hell. And then I can repull out uh, Orbus. Mm. Double scouter damage, oh hell yeah. Decrease damage, yeah, we're... Because we have no weaknesses with Oni. So yeah, let's get that retaliating, buddy. Um, Look at all these <laughs> buffing moves, that's whack. Um, I believe healing... Um, you know, it's stronger if we have higher magic, but Oni is not a magic person at all. Uh, let me do these two. Buff, debuff. Don't want anything up here. Nah, don't want anything up there. I think I want to boost attack. Oh, I don't have boost attack. I mean, boost accuracy and reduce defense. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. This only's gonna be buff. Mm, so what's the plan for the rest of the night, Mandeth? To some degree, the night's still young. It's only 1040. But I'm talking about uh, it being young because I usually sleep at like 2, <laughs> 2 a.m. Hell yeah, Oni. I'm Oni. Now that you and me are buddies, I'm gonna eat everyone who tries to get in our way. <laughs> Jesus. Get ready for bed. I have a hair appointment tomorrow, and then we may look at houses. Ah, oh, yes, the hunt continues. But hopefully, all of that goes well. Oh, I didn't get giant slice. So sad. That's okay. I'll probably get it pretty soon. Uh. That sounds like another exciting weekend. Full of adventures. Yeah, I feel like I think he did say like every weekend you're pretty much like out and about. It's been no rest. <laughs> Exciting is a word. A what? <laughs> Maybe your hair appointment is the exciting part. Not sure about the house hunting part. That's always a pain. And just hopefully, uh, people wear masks this time just in case, right? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, every weekend's been exhausting. No. 
Mm, your hair parmer is gonna be good. My friend's in town from Seattle. Ooh, Seattle. That's hella far away. Yeah, she's doing your hair. Nice. Will you be going to them? Or to her? Or is she coming to you? Uh, where's my... Hero font. I need that Orbos. I technically need one of these. I should pull this guy out while I'm here. Alright, pulling him out. In case we wanted to hang out with Maruki. I feel like I'm going to fuse for another one, though. I'm going to wait off on that. I don't want to... Oh, I do need a Sun Persona, though. But I think that's why we came here in the first place. Look at this majestic peacock. Corner her. Nice, nice. Is it a far drive? Then again, I guess everything's far for you now that you live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I gotta get my rookie done by a certain date because he becomes unavailable. Oh yeah, it, he it did said that um, he's there until November. It's about to be June. That's five more months. Uh, but I am cheating <laughs> using a guide, so I'm sure I can squeeze him in. Alright, where's my hero font? Fine, I'll just pull him out. Because <laughs> I am indeed rich. See, I've come to realize that... Um, I can be really rich in this game. Um, as long as I don't try to buy everyone's weapons and armors and guns right away. Because a lot of times we do find better stuff in either the uh, palaces themselves or mementos. So I've been doing my best to not buy anything from the airsoft shop. 1.5 hours. That's far. But it's more for visiting a friend. Um... See, I think we're done here. Nearby. Mm, let's see. Oh, let's save actually. So we've done. Oops, some good stuff. All right. Uh, so we're actually gonna meet up with the politician guy. There's Mishima, which I could also meet with him, but I don't want to. Sorry, Mishima. Uh, wait. Station Square. Yeah. Yeah, Mishima can wait. I don't remember exactly how good Mishima is, but... Let's hang out with this guy. There have been far too many incidents recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? The runaway train, blah, 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 blah. He says the same thing every time. Say, so, dream Kun, that physical abuse case happened at your school, right? There are less physically abusive teachers nowadays, but the truth of it all is still a mystery. I'm giving a speech again today. Do you think you can lend me a hand with it? Nice. Hell yeah. Hang out with this guy. Uh, not Mishima. Son. I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Right. I see on the societal ills we have created to the next generation is not right. It will take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making small changes. Oh, that's the fastest speech he gave this whole time. <laughs> like, out of all three times I've met with him. I hope you gleaned something useful from today's speech. Regardless of the audience's size, you must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one-on-one. -on -one. What I'll say is funny, because every time I talk to people, I talk to them as if I'm, like, that's pretty much my main mode of communication, talking one-on-one. -on -one. I rarely talk to people in groups, which probably is a bad thing, I don't know. I should probably practice group speech more, rather than one-on-one -on -one talks, but I don't know. One-on-one -on -one talks is easier to navigate more often than not, because then you only have to worry about one person, instead of having to worry about, like multiple people and how they will react to something uh by the way i forgot to ask you last time we spoke why do you want to become a politician so he says i want to improve my speech yeah <laughs> so you're a pragmatist most people nowadays are 
but that mentality of taking action is the quality of a good politician. May I ask you one more question? What kind of politician do you want to be? Uh, let's see, the first or third. Uh, one with conviction. Yes, don't ever forget that. Although what's important is what lies within. Allow me to give you some advice. If you aspire to get into politics, you must possess a central philosophy. What is it that you want to accomplish? It's funny because I can visualize 8-bit telling me all this. <laughs> this is the foundation of a great speech. You'll do well to remember that. Uh, that was helpful. I'm glad. By the way, my philosophy is... <laughs> yep, 8-bit is wisdom. Yep, he's all about politics and conveying information and not like being wishy-washy. I don't know. And never give up until your voice is heard. And get your message across. Be tenacious in conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> yeah, that laugh. <laughs> you have me reliving the fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. Before you got corrupted. Anyways. Level 2. Can she ask for more money or items during negotiations? I feel like I won't really ask for money. I usually never ask for money or items. But probably because I never farm those kind of things. But I guess if I really wanted a certain item or something, then I would uh, negotiate with a specific shadow slash persona. Yeah, we'll see how this run goes. Oh, this random dude. Yoshida Detractor. Get the hell out of here, Nogatora. Nogatora? No. <laughs> They're right. I am no good. Uh, my apologies. We're done for today. Oh, I feel like learning about the basics of a negotiation, the negotiation has served to increase my charm. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I do like that some of these, you know, social links also, you know, buff some of these um, characteristics. I don't know if it was like that in the original, but it's really nice to have it coupled so I don't waste too much time. You know, just focusing on a social link instead of character traits. I always love how they always talk to us after the fact. <laughs> hey, I wanted to thank you for today. I'm sorry you had to see me acting like such a coward right after I gave you that self-important lecture too. But I'm quite a stubborn individual myself. I hope today's incident was at least a good example of what not to do, but... What do you think? Did you take anything useful from it? It was helpful. Ah, that's a relief. I have to say, it was almost nostalgic for me. It reminded me of my early days. I hope our talks from now on will keep giving you the direction you need. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Nice. Alright, so today is the day we go cleaning. So I guess we kind of lose out on a day. We're cleaning up today. It's further away than school, right? Hurry up and get dressed so we won't be late. Oh, it's Kasumi! Kasumi's here. Oh, that's my guy. Oh! Get your filthy hands off my girl! Bro, sexual harassment, bro. I'm here, baby. I can't overlook this. Like last time, I couldn't overlook it. <laughs> I mean, we just deck the guy. It's like. <laughs> Too bad it's not shimmy Gavin. He's NT3. Just deck him. Uh, but of course, that'll go against our current issue that we can get expelled, slash. Whatever. <laughs> 
Uh, you're hurting her. Oh yeah, you had me, had me, girl. Yeah, get your <laughs> loser ass out of here. Student called your her last name. <laughs> Yoshizawa. No problem, girl. Are you okay? I love how Mona's just peeking out. Yes. And why I come to step in? Because I wanted to. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. Oh. They say the wrong answer. I forgot she's a freshman, right? Oh yeah, we can. <laughs> Bye. So I'll be seeing you later. Oh wait, why is Anne not in her gym clothes? Yeah. Sure did. <laughs> so is that weird? Sure did. Oh. Yeah, why didn't she just wear her gym clothes? Because she wanted to be fashionable <laughs> on the way here. Sounds like it sucks to be a girl. いい天気だね。自然に入ってきすぎだろう。熱狂的に掃除好きなやつが、てるてる坊主を作ってお願いしたとか。いや。みんな、おはよう。俺、先生も清掃活動ですかそうだよ。その格好で。ああ、僕は
I don't know which which way is the real way to spell it. <laughs> Maybe they're interchangeable. <laughs> <laughs> they both make sense, but fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Picking up a trash in my thong. <laughs> no. Oh, it's this girl. Mature third girl, or third year. Again, I do not remember, you know, the order of events in the original. So, seeing her here now, I'm like, whoa. Is she supposed to appear now? I technically started like a new game of the original. Just to kind of cheese it and get the... Was it Persona 5 save data... Bonus items, whatever. Which wasn't even that much, but... You know, free stuff is free stuff. Um, not sure if I'll actually play through it all the way. I guess I could. I probably just... I should probably just play on easy if I anything. Oh, he did the thing! He did the thing. Salt Bay. <laughs> he did the Salt Bay sprinkles. <laughs> uh. Yeah. You know, this whole cleanup thing could also just be a new thing that they added. Like, this whole thing might have not even happened in the original. I don't know. Definitely. I feel like this whole event is new to this game. Well, obviously with Kasumi here. So. Yeah, it didn't happen in the original, yeah. It definitely makes sense that this part didn't happen, obviously, because, you know, Kasumi wasn't even in the original. But, yeah, maybe the whole cleanup thing was made for this game. Um, where did the other people in your group go? They dished me. Just gotta <laughs> play uh, the sob story. Maybe she'll fall for us. No. You got ditched too? Ooh. Sure. Murky wasn't in the original hey. either. Yeah. I definitely remember that. I don't remember, because then you think about it, well, I don't know what Kasumi's Arcana is, but, you know, Maruki's is counselor, I'm like, that's definitely not a, <laughs> whatchamacallit, Arcana from, like, any persona that I've played so far, at least not that I've remembered. Um, and she wants to thank us again for this morning, no problem. Yeah, that man was whack for sure. <laughs> if I had my way, I would just deck him. So get your filthy hands off my girl. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, what more issue? Yes. Oh. Uh, I forget what happened the other day. Hmm. I'm gonna say about what? The other day? Inside the guidance office. Oh, there. Yeah. Kamashita did say that, but he's also a scumbag. It's okay. Uh, I heard some of my classmates gossiping about you. Were you disappointed? Were you surprised? Were you disappointed? Were you surprised? For real? I don't know. I think they're all kind of whatever. What would I say? Were you surprised? She didn't pay any real mind. My kind of girl. <laughs> Don't like gossip. This may sound strange since I just met you, but you don't seem like the kind of person they describe. Exactly. Don't judge a book by its cover. Or by, like, hearsay. 
gotta get the full dream experience. It'd be a different story if those rumors were actually true, though. <laughs> so many different crimes. I mean, that's why you can't really go off of hearsay. Because <laughs> people just make up shit. They burglary, murder, elephant test trafficking. What the hell? <laughs> the heck? I've done none of that. I drive without a license, too. It's a good time to make fun <laughs> of the situation. Uh, I drive with, well, yes, just make it funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You didn't introduce yourself yet. <laughs> Look at my name. I am James Dream. <laughs> so funny. Sorry to make you a person. It's all good. Oh, the balloon. Oh, damn. Damn, girl. <laughs> We're gonna say, oh my god. This is how I met your mother. <laughs> Her uh, saving this balloon. It seems to be a Shujin Academy pocketbook. The name uh, Kasumi Yoshizawa is written inside. <laughs> it's like, damn, girl. You play volleyball. Uh, let's just say you drop this, because this one might kind of make her. I mean, in real life, it'll be like, that's kind of awkward. Oh, you dropped this. Oh. Oh, I think her response would have been the same. Are you an athlete? That was impressive. Are you an athlete? <laughs> Gymnastics. Damn, girl. <laughs> it's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Bro, I'll break myself <laughs> trying to do some of that stuff. Oh, yeah, we definitely need her in our party, but not for a while. <laughs> Sir Castle, we're running. Break my neck doing that, yeah, exactly. Break my ankles. Um, yeah, I think even in volleyball, I have yet to actually somersault, like, roll. Forward like that. Because there's no reason <laughs> to do that <laughs> in volleyball. Um, I have like pancaked, you know, penguin dived, dolphin dived, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't even think what else I've done in volleyball. Yeah, I've only moved laterally, never like, again, rolling forward or backflipping, of course. Uh, I want to learn your moves, girl. <laughs> Am I interested in gymnastics? <laughs> sort of. I'm more interested in you, though. Oh, what? Hmm? Oh, social link time? You want my advice? Why me? Toki doki, I heard that. Uh, we have a deal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's a little overboard. Nice. It's a random social link already. And because, you know, in the opening segment, we actually meet. Um. Thief Kasumi for the first time in Sai's dungeon. So I kind of like spoiled it for that, but yeah, it's whatever, I don't care. But um, I didn't think we get the social link this early. That's the case. Hmm. 
I guess the other question is, is there any other um, new Arcanus? Or is it just these two? Kasumi, uh, Kasumi and uh, Maruki. Faith Persona. That's definitely new too. <laughs> yeah, Faith and Counselor. I've never heard of those. Arcana and the other personas, so for sure. They just made this shit up. <laughs> this is okay. It's kind of cool too because that means they re divvied up probably some of the uh, Arcana, right? Unless they actually added new, you know, demons to the mix. Oh, I just realized her. Oh, yeah, it's five stars or what? Predetermined location for disposal. Thanks, Makoto. Basic training. Oh, ab exercises. I hate those. I've trained with Kasumi. Yeah, I've actually did some ab workouts throughout the week. Uh, this past week and the week before. And both times, I almost pulled a muscle in my core. It was scary. <laughs> but... Again, I think I'm just trying to overdo it. You know, I'm just kind of getting back into doing routines. It also doesn't help that my, again, my abs, uh, or not my abs, but my ankles injured, so I have to, like, recompensate so I don't re-injure my ankle. But... You're all dusty. Mm, hate that my angel. My, angel. <laughs> my ankle's injured? Yeah. Yeah, it's a freak accident. Half freak. <laughs> the other, the other half is the guy being reckless. I'm like, why, <laughs> why me? But, um, for the most part, I can walk. It's just stiff, so I can't get like the full range of motion. Um, so I still hobble a little bit, but it's not as bad for sure as before. It's before I was peg legging it. <laughs> As if I was a pirate with the stub or nub stub. Uh, wait, what are we doing? Harvey wants to go to the. Oh, I should, I should really go to Mishima actually. But Harvey wants to do laundry because we have so many dirty ones. It's like so many. It's like too many dirty laundries. But it doesn't want to show me. In that menu. Let me see. Look at all the sooty stuff. Oh, it was a feudal design though, so these are all garbage. Yeah, they are all garbage. Okay, I won't do it then. Uh, only one that could be good is the cat one. But it's a waste to you know, do laundry with just two pieces. Um, again, these are feudal designs too, so yeah, all bad. Uh, so we're not doing laundry. Let's hang out with Mishima then. Mishima. Is it Mishima the moon persona? Mishima. Yes, you are. And I'm pretty sure I have my moon. Yep, my black ooze. Ooze. I think eventually... I will have the teacher. The teacher can do the laundry for me. Uh, Mishima. Yeah. Uh, do you remember that group a while back who were claiming to hack websites in the name of justice? 
I had pretty high hopes for them, but they turned out to be posers. The fact that these are true heroes, though, I want to help out however I can. So you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. Oh yeah, as your strategic image management rep, I thought I should come up with more ways to help you. Do you have time today? Yes. Wait. He didn't say my one persona is good for meeting with him. Well, mm. I do have a moon persona though, so yeah, whatever. Oh, I forgot to mention, but we're meeting up with some fangirls today. A uh, what? All thieves are supposed to have some special ladies, right? Oh, let's take the dialogue options. Moon. Uh, great idea. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to steal a girl's heart if you want to be called a phantom thief. Let's do this. <laughs> Jeez. Basically, I met some cool girls on the fan side, and we thought it'd be fun to do an in-person meetup. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, they think uh, we're just part of the fandom. I made up this whole story about how we stumbled onto the fan side one day, so let's stick to that. Don't spill the beans, okay? Uh, we're part of the fandom? Let's tell them the truth. I think I don't like this. Well, I want to, but not everyone's as good at keeping a secret as I am. Let's err, let's err on the side of caution here. Either way, you should be excited about this. Mingling with your loyal supporters is a noble cause indeed. Plus, uh, remember how I said I'd help publicize the Phantom Thieves? This is just the beginning. Uh oh. Are we gonna get stood up? Well, to be honest, I've never actually met someone from online in person. Yeah, actually, that's kind of a weird feeling. <laughs> I'm a kind of, it's not a mean story per se, but I did exclusively talk to somebody online before meeting them. And I feel a little bad, but at the same time, you know, I, I was a kid. I was probably like middle school at the time. Um, you know, back when there was AOL Instant Messenger, <laughs> uh, somebody gave me a screen name for one of their friends, and we chatted a lot. AIM? Yeah, AIM. Um, we chatted a lot, and, you know, we kind of clicked, I guess, you know, just talking. Um, but then once I finally met her, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just... I can't hide my emotions. <laughs> like, I'm really bad at doing that. I'm probably better nowadays, but before. When I first met this person, they were really, like, extroverted, I guess? Maybe they're just super excited. I don't know. They probably got, you know, they were probably talking with their other friend um, about me, how, like, we clicked and stuff. And yes, this was a female <laughs> at the time. Well, it's still a female, but, you know, this was a female. And, yeah. So I met this girl <laughs> in, in person. And, you know, this person was super excited and, like, all this stuff. But I... If anything, I was probably overwhelmed by how excited they were, <laughs> I guess. Because, um, you know me, I'm kind of, like, reserved and kind of just chill. But, yeah, they just were totally not my vibe <laughs> at that time. So I kind of clammed up. I kind of just, like... <laughs> I couldn't, like, come up with words to say. And even then, back then, I was, like, shy anyways, too, right? So it's, like, <laughs> just a combo of disaster and so yeah we stopped talking after that <laughs> i probably hurt her feelings but <laughs> i wasn't ready you know <laughs> i wasn't ready um i don't know i i'm, <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> you know i just can't all i can say is i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> especially middle school it's hard yeah yeah it's hard i'm sorry but yeah just the energy and then like the way she looked, it didn't like. You know, we always have like a mental picture of how somebody might look like. Um, it probably would have helped if I asked for a picture to see what she looks like, so I can like, you know, brace myself, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it was yeah. I feel bad. Uh, she probably had some sort of crush on me. Probably, I. 
wouldn't doubt it, but yeah, I was just not ready. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't remember her name, but yeah, I'm sorry. That's all I gotta say about that. But that's fine. I wonder if I still have my... Is AIM still even alive is the question. So I wonder if I can log in. That'd be hilarious. Mm. <laughs> Healing traumas on stream, yeah. Whoever you are, <laughs> or wherever you are, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think that person would see this stream, but you know, if they did, you know, if, if I come super famous, my face is out there, the person would be like, I used to blah, 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 then <laughs> yeah. It's not alive. You can download your logs at one point, which I did. Oh, really? That's really interesting. Where would you go to do that? I guess you can DM me that or you can put in the mutual DM group so we can all <laughs> look at our past, at least to those of us who have or had aim, but yeah, so yeah. <laughs> so rule number one, always get a picture of whoever that person is, because I was just not ready, because <laughs> I didn't know who this person was. And so, you know, me being very shy, just some stranger, quote unquote, <laughs> running up to me and being all <laughs> too much energy. Yeah, definitely scared me off. <laughs> and again, you know, it's funny because, you know, this happened, this seems to be a recurring thing. Especially like, you know, with one of the things I told you about, Mandeth, where like once you put into my court to like be like act or whatever, then I'm most li likely not going to reach out because <laughs> that's just who I am. Um, but for the most part, they, pay they have to reach out to me. Uh, so even back then, if that girl kept messaging me, I would have kept talking to her, but eh, she ghosted me I guess <laughs> but I you know I totally understand though because it's especially from her perspective she's like you know I'm so excited you know to meet me for the first time but I just <laughs> totally did not reciprocate that excitement <laughs> so yeah 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 so yeah um if you're gonna cut it and assume I'll like chase after you nah. <laughs> I'm not a chaser not like that so you have to invite me in and I will be there, but if you don't, yeah, I guess we're just going our separate ways. <laughs> Anyways, uh, though to be honest, I've never actually met someone from online in person. I wonder if I'll be able to do it right. And yeah, don't be like me, Mishima. <laughs> I did lots of research though. I know all about putting the bill and buying desserts for the girl. Yeah, I know about that too. <laughs> Apparently if things go well, you might even take her home. Or what? <laughs> yeah, Joker's like, the fuck are you talking about, Mishima? <laughs> we're not trying to pick up chicks. <laughs> Mishima's dumb, yeah. <laughs> like, bro, we're just meeting fellow fans. I guess, you know, Mishima, you know, he's actually a, a player here. He wants to, you know, hook up. This way past our meeting time. Yeah, we definitely got ghosted. Um, uh, hello, it's Mish. It's the guy you met on the fan site. How about our meetup? You're still at home? And what about your friend? Oh, um, yeah, uh-huh. No, uh, we'll be waiting here. Wait, was that a train announcement? I could swear I just heard someone say Shibuya over the loudspeaker. Are you close by? Huh? Oh no, I'm not calling you a liar. <laughs> Definitely is calling you a liar. Okay, yeah. Maybe next time. <laughs> Exposed. So both of them apparently got sick at the train station. <laughs> no, they're just gonna stay, go home. <laughs> Seemed like they were really into the idea on the forum. <laughs> oh well, my bad. I was so busy with all the new forum posts, I didn't have time to really vet them too much. What's all these fancy dating words? Jeez. Oh. Dialogue says, it's not your fault. Yeah, they're the ones that got cold feet. Cause we out here. We're here posting up in front of these soda machines. <laughs> Looking badass. Uh, yeah, thanks. Yes. Uh, but all this aside, uh, I have some really good info ready for you guys. I won't let you down. I'll prove just how useful I can be to the Phantom Thieves. Mishima seems extra motivated. Extra. Increased experience gain from battle. Hell yeah. 
Maybe I should have been unlocking this. Mm, I wonder how wait. I wonder how much the experience gain is. Maybe it's not a ten percent. What's it supposed to turn out like this though? I bet those girls would never have flaked on me if they knew I'm friends with the real life Phantom Thieves. Switch for lying. <laughs> Why are you always lying? Uh, being a guardian of justice isn't so easy, huh? Yeah, never lead with a lie. That's what happens. Well, let's head home. Let's waste my goddamn time. <laughs> That wasn't a total waste, we get more experience for our battling. Oh, Dream, uh, sorry for dragging you out for no reason. It's alright. Uh, people typ typically use an alias online, so a lot of them don't hold back when they comment. Mm, I thought it was going to be a great opportunity to hear their opinions on the Phantom Thieves. It's always better to hear that kind of stuff in person, right? Uh, doesn't matter what choice. You get it right next time. Yep, leave it to me. Next time we're gonna meet some real hot girl. I mean, <laughs> so, yeah, Mishra just wants to get it in. All right, I'll get back to modern. Uh, trust me, everything is gonna turn out awesome. See ya. <laughs> Good old Mishra. All right, what next? Hiyos. Hiyos. By the way, the exhibit's uh, till the end of this week, huh? We did what we could, and now we wait for the results. Uh, what? I don't want to do any of those things. Want to want to head out? Mm, true, it's important to take a breather after some hard work. But I feel like my body will be weaker if I play around too much. So I want to hang out with other people. I need to hang out with Anne. She needs to level up. I also need to just, um, trade out my DVD. I've actually gotten into fishing lately, although it's just pond fishing from time to time. I can't go sea fishing because I get seasick easily. So much for my dream of being a sailor. Alright, when people think of sailing the high seas, they tend to think of pirates. Even though they're ruffians who plunder other ships in coastal settlements through force. For some reason, they end up getting romanticized. Yeah, it's awkward. Now then, Dream Coon. <laughs> Do you know which peg legged pirate toten historical figure's appearance became visual shorthand for pirates? Uh. Johnny Silverhand? I was kidding. That's from Cyberpunk. Um. Visual shorthand. Shorthand. For pirates! Oh, it is John Silver, what the hell? Interesting. That is correct. The answer is Long John Silver, a character from Treasure Island. The story of Long John Silver informed uh, much of our modern view of pirates. Uh, unfortunately, he only uh, exists in fiction. In terms of non-fictional pirates, well... Captain William Kidd uh, made quite a name for himself, I'd say. Maybe you're familiar with the story of his execution? How he declared that he hid all his treasure in one place. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Is he really a criminal? Is he actually studying? Yeah, we need to, again, increase our knowledge ASAP. Because we're about to get Makoto. The research seems to indicate that he didn't actually have much. Uh, still, several novels were written based on his legend, and people still took, or still look for his treasure today. By the way, I've heard that there's an island in Kyushu where a kid's treasure is said to sleep. Regardless of its actual worth, there's still value in letting that many people dream about it. All right, what we got? I didn't think she would come. Oh, maybe she's skipping practice. I hate those events. All they do is make me dirty and tired. I think they'll do it again next year. If they are, I'm definitely skipping it. Oh, why'd the goody two-shoes first year come along? Oh, what? Don't talk crap about Kasumi. You bitch. 
Uh, her whole I'm not bothered routine uh, really pisses me off sometimes. Wait, are they talking about Makoda? What are you doing? Oh. Just a What's up, Ryuji? Oh. Oh, what? Maid Cafe. Oh, what? Maid Cafe. Oh, oh. Oh, this is when we get to learn about Kawakami's second job. <laughs> the way Ryuji's talking is hilarious. Oh, what do you want me to do? Your guy, right? <laughs> you want? あ、ちょうど同じ回のやつが引っ越したばっかで、秋部屋あんだよ。ポストの裏に鍵あっから入り放題。大家が適当なんだよな、そこんとこ。そこなら準備できてっから。話は聞かせてもらった。あ、わ
Oh. It's the same person. Oh. Oops. Oh, wait. Let's use the other button to mash through text. Uh. Hmm. Who else could I be talking to? Oh, that's the guy that, like, you can ask her random questions. Oh, can we ask her about the bully? Uh, honor students were exempt from cleaning, but she volunteered because she didn't want to be treated differently. Uh, she's that kind of a person. Hmm, it sounds... It kind of sounds like you know a lot about her. Are you stalking her or something? You know, maybe you should follow her example. People will probably stop being suspicious of you. Oh, sorry. Mm. Uh, let's meditate in the toilet. Oh, it's Makoto! It's Makoto! What's she doing here? <laughs> I should reflect for a little bit. She has disappeared. She, you know what? She's probably stalking us, because again, she's supposed to be getting intel on us. And so, you know, she saw us go to the bathroom, so she's like, uh, I can't follow him in there, so I'm just gonna, you know, lap around over here. Alright. Oh, she's still there. She's lapping around. What's up, Makoto? I can't talk to her. I can't talk to her. Oh, there she is. Ah, uh, what is it? I I'm so engrossed in my book, I didn't notice you. Sure. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a student council meeting to attend to. Are you done here? Well then, see ya. <laughs> oh, Makoto. She's definitely... She's definitely following us. <laughs> That's so funny. I never noticed that. I don't know if that was a thing before. It's definitely a thing now. Yeah, she's totally tailing us. That's so funny. Anyways, let me wander around. Honestly, this bully is probably a third year. Makes the most sense. So where are you now, Makoto? Looks like the library's up here. Um... Yeah, I forgot the Kasumi's the first year, so she's up here, technically. Hey. Hey. Uh, there's a library. Don't really want to go. Talk to you. Anybody else I can maybe talk to? No. It's the gym. Yeah, notice there actually is not a club that we can join. Like there is in uh, the other personas. I don't know if that's gonna open up later or what, but I feel like uh, we should go downstairs. Actually, look for this bully. Are you the bully? Seems that some of the girls are making a fuss. <laughs> They're just jealous. They don't like the special treatment. Uh, Kasumi's getting, no matter what people say about her. Let's stay on her side. Indeed, I will continue to support her as someone who devotes her youth to sports. Yeah, Kasumi's great. Oh, who are you? Are you the bully? The false hero Kamoshida has fallen! Shujin Academy's future has hope, so long as I'm around. Uh, false hero? Y yes! Kamoshida tricked people into thinking he was a hero, but he wasn't. Oh, and don't tell anyone my true identity. No one can know that I'm a phantom thief. A what? It's totally not a phantom thief. Uh. Oh, we just talked to them. It's really funny they make these NPCs very nameless. They don't have eyeballs. <laughs> Maybe there is no, uh... I forgot to apply for the mock exams. Are you gonna take any? Only nerds worry about those. I'm not taking any tests I don't have to take. 
I kind of feel the same way, actually. Uh, various flyers I posted up. If you're involved in a crime, ask for help immediately. I want applications for national mock exams and on June 12th. Aim for the Olympics. High hopes for Yoshisawa's performance. Oh, nice. They're already advertising. Kasumi's stuff. Administration office. Yeah, they're really talking about Kasumi everywhere we go. So I'm just trying to look for bullies. And maybe it'll just open up on its own. Yeah, it probably opens up with Mishima. Or just like with time in general. Alright. Um, so I guess we're just hanging out with Anne. Yep, let's go. Oh, hello. <laughs> we just appear right in front of her. Uh, we do have a lot of money, so maybe we can buy some of these accessories. Uh, life bonus, life gain, life surge. I want this like, oops. This adds like what, twenty percent health. Same with these, these. Do I really care though? I feel like a is too much for this time of the game, and I don't think I have to worry about that that much. That's all this. Oh, here's the boosts. Let's definitely grab some. Yeah, I'm not sure I'll actually use it, but that's so expensive. I'm not that rich yet. I'm pretty rich, but not that rich. Same with these. I guess I could buy those actually, but I'll wait. Sports shop. Is there medicines in here? Yeah, what's this? Fast deal. What's fast deal do? I only buy it just because I don't know what it does. Increase critical chance. For fun. <laughs> Pulled out. I didn't realize they had max of three. Uh, this way. Oh, there's no revival beads. Alright, uh, I think, yeah, let's... Yep, let's go ahead and head out, hang out with Lady Anne. I guess now we wait. The suspense is seriously killing me. Strengthening my heart is turning out to be harder than I thought. Do you think we can maybe talk more, uh, some more about it? That'd be cool if having multiple of the same persona, like Arcana, would like further boost how fast we can, you know, rank up with people. Anyways. Pull up Anne's social link. Let's see. Oh, look at those ducks over there. They must be a family. This place seriously feels amazing. It's not even that far from Shibuya, but it feels so different here. Uh, you know, Tokyo is so strange. There are tons of people and tons of stores, yet there are still Duckfield Parks here too. It has everything. Yeah, but it feels like I can't understand any of it. Honestly, kind of scary. Uh, I know what you mean. Alright, you only just moved here, James. When I first got here, I had a super tough time adjusting. It's so crowded and everyone walks really fast, almost like they're angry or something. Even at school, I was only ever the foreigner. Nobody really knew me, uh, they just spread rumors. I thought maybe my looks were the problem. I even considered dyeing my hair black to match everyone else. And honestly, that's... again, I remember watching a documentary style um, video on TikTok, actually. It's talking about uh, Japanese culture and yeah, uniformity is one of their key like principles. And that's kind of why their policies are the way they are. Um, that's why delinquents are always um, shown to have different hair colors. You know, chiefly, you know, Ryuji's blonde hair. And he's definitely Japanese, but yeah, he's a delinquent. So he dyed his hair and doesn't really care how his uniform looks. 
And just the idea of uniforms in general, like everybody has to wear the same thing so that no one sticks out. Um, and here, you know. And she wants to uh, fit in, you know. And uh, her hair color does make her stand out because she's pretty much the few, if only person, that has blonde hair. Uh, I think she's mixed. I think she said that. I forget, though. I forget if it was her mother or father that's European. And then, of course, or maybe she her, her, both her parents are European and she just knows Japanese. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but that was when Shiho talked to me. The first thing she said was, Takamaki-san, uh, your paintings suck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure her dad's Japanese. Because why would you have a Japanese last name? <laughs> your paintings suck. Um, that's hilarious. <laughs> I thought she was just making fun of me like everyone else, but that wasn't her intention. <laughs> According to her, they were so bad that she just had to tell me. <laughs> pretty mean, huh? Still, that was the first time someone here talked to me without mentioning my looks. We sort of just grew closer after that, and Shiho's been my best friend ever since. Uh, that's not why we're here, though. Uh, there's something else I need to talk to you about. Oh. Do you remember what I told you the last time we came here? About the female thief in the anime I used to watch? Well, I thought of something. Tell me. <laughs> it's gonna knock your socks off. You know how the uh, you know how the villains in those shows are always going on about world domination. Well, even though they get beaten by the heroes every time, they never give up. Uh, that means they must have really solid hearts, and that's why I'm going to try and learn from them. Good idea, right? So I've decided. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna star in action movies. Oh yeah. Mm, good luck with that. <laughs> Thanks. Your support really helps. Uh, Alright, um, I'm making this my ultimate goal for the future. Heck yeah. You know, I've never really thought much about what I wanted to do in life, but now I have an objective. And that only happened because of talking to you, James. Thanks. Oh yeah, I sensed a heightened motivation for man. Nice. Right, go for Chance to grab the enemy's attention and cancel their action. Oh, sexy technique. Yes. Well, if I want to be in action movies, I'll need to work on my actions. Wonder how many sit-ups I'll have to do. Wait, Ryuji said he knows a good gym. I should ask him for advice. Oh, and I need to tell Shiho that I have a new goal. Well, she'll definitely be happy to hear that. Uh, come on, let's jog to the station. Hi, it's me. You get to talk right now? Uh, so I'd like to think I'm pretty athletic. Uh, like, I don't hate exercising or anything, but I'm exhausted just from running to the station earlier. Maybe I've got to train my body along with my heart. Do you do anything to train your body? Uh, I train every day. I carry more in my bag. I do. <laughs> that's part of your training, but I guess that's kind of amazing. I mean, you never seem to struggle with it. I wonder how much Morgana weighs. Uh, maybe I'll try carrying him in my bag next time. <laughs> so Morgana would love that. Anyway, uh, first I need to research what kind of training is best for me. For now, I'll just do some curls with my <laughs> with a water bottle. I mean, that definitely a good place to start. Just low intensity, just get your body moving. I already drank it halfway, but uh, better than nothing, right? <laughs> I mean, you just fill it back up, girl. Well, see you later. All right, what are we going to do? We're going to hang out with Sojiro, finally. Maybe Mishima. Hey, you didn't forget, did you? You know, about that flyer. We need to look into the truth behind that housekeeping server. Oh yeah, I definitely need to do that actually. I'm over at Central Street right now, so come to talk to me if you're interested. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do it. Mm, we gotta do it. Mm. Oh, there might have been a crossword puzzle though. Oops. Okay, okay, I'll be waiting. Oh, but don't flake out on me, okay? Please. I should have checked if there's a crossword puzzle. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I can still check, actually. One second. One second. Let's gotta double check there's a crossword. There it is! Good thing I came back. Let's play it all. Uh, something culture artwork. Ugh, sushi wrapper. Leaf? No. Sushi wrapper is usually like seaweed. Kimono sash. Obi. Which has Obi, right? Sushi wrapper. Connie? Connie is that type of fish. I don't know. Japanese floral art. <laughs> I don't know any of these. Mm. All right, I was gonna try to figure it out, but I definitely can't get this. So let's search it up. Let's see, ni honga culture artwork. Um, Japanese? What? Oh, Japanese. Culture artwork is Nihonga. That's very interesting. Oops. So what would this be? I don't know. Whatever. Let's not worry about it. Cha cha. Japanese, in contrast to imported Western art styles, paintings produced. Post 1900s, using techniques developed within Japan, are referred to as Nihonga. Um, foreigners visiting Japan during the Meiji period called this Japanese painting, which the literal Japanese translation is Nihon, Japan, and Ga, artwork. Oh, that's a very short word for artwork. Very right, cool. Uh, I still need to trade in my DVD. I forgot about that. Uh, big bang. Big gabang. I'll be with you in a second. Switch out my DVD. Oh, I've done all of them. Dang it. That's fine. All right. Uh, I don't have enough guts for the airshop guy, but let's just do this. Mm, you seriously look like a criminal if you had one of those allergy masks to go along with your cool glasses. <laughs> so we're executing Operation and Maid Watch tonight for sure, right? Hell yeah. Yes. Wait, you already changed out your uniform. I guess that's a pretty good idea. We're meeting over at Sak uh, Sakamoto's place, right? Uh, let's stop by mine beforehand so I can change too. Yeah, this opens up Kawakami's social link. So we're really going to do this, huh? Uh, you think it'll be okay? <laughs> Operation Maid Watch, bruh. Yeah, Operation Maid Watch. If it turns out to be sketchy, uh, we could just bail. The apartment's vacant, so it's not like we'll be messing with anyone's home. Uh, you're a genius, Ryuji. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> to think, uh, Sakamoto has a brain. But if that's the case, then... Then... Yep. Okay, give him a call. Uh, leave it to me. What if it matters to be made call? Thank you for calling. Uh, thank you for calling. This is Victoria's housekeeping. <laughs> they answered. Shh. I take it you're interested in our services then. S services? Is there anyone in particular you'd like to request? Huh? Uh, uh, anyone we want to request? Uh, what should we do, James? Uh, send anyone. Uh, very well. Let's see here. We have a maid available in 20 minutes. May I ask for your address? Oh. Shit, this is really happening. 
<laughs> a maid's services. Hey, uh, what should we have her do? Uh, I was thinking we start with some cooking. Of course, I wouldn't mind some of the other services either. Should we hold a strategy meeting to discuss? They said 20 minutes, right? Uh, I gotta use the rest uh, bathroom. <laughs> it's almost time. You were in there for a while. Are you okay? Hey, did you wash your hands? Um, huh? What? Who? Me? <laughs> You're really nervous. Uh, uh, are you? Are high school students even allowed to use this type of service? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean, huh? You should have researched it. What if they find out who we are? Uh, how should I know? But why would, or, uh, but why would how old you are matter when it comes to housekeeping? Uh, we would have been screwed if your number had shown up on a their caller ID. They're here. Good evening. I'm from the housekeeping service. <laughs> what already? She's five minutes early. What do we do? I'm not mentally prepared. Oh, the door's unlocked. Um, may I come in? I, I can't do this. My stomach's acting me up and my hands are all sweaty. Okay, you handle the rest. Uh, don't let her find out you're a high school student. I've got your back just from way back. Uh, like, from the balcony. Oh, what? I can't do this either. Dream, we'll leave it to you. <laughs> Kawakami-sensei. Ryuji and Mishima fled to the balcony. Uh, excuse me. Oh, there you are. Welcome home, master. Oh. I'm gonna fill your tired heart full of lovely energy. Meow. <laughs> I'm Becky, and I have the pleasure of serving you today. Uh. Nice to meow you. <laughs> oh, just play cool. Hello. Hello. Oh my, how thoughtless of me. I should explain our services to you, master. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. But there are other services we can provide if you desire. Hmm? You look young, master. Are you, perhaps, in high school? I'm a dad. <laughs> uh... Aussie's best policy. I think in my first playthrough, I think I said I am. I'm gonna say I'm in college. I'm in college. Oh wow, your skin's so healthy. <laughs> Jesus. You're not lying to me, are you? Uh oh. Hmm, I'll wait to provide those other services until you've matured a bit, Master. So, I'll be going now. A what? A what? No! Quiet! Uh oh. Someone there. Oh no! Uh oh. Shit! Run, Mishima! Uh, Mishima? sakamoto -kun? I'm surprised she didn't even recognize us. And you! Oh, I guess because our back's turned. Mm. Did you request me specifically? Uh, wait. Are you... Oh, no, it's all right. How would you know me? This is our first meeting. Y yes, the first time ever, Master. Uh oh, yeah, this is unbelievable. Yes, it's me, your homeroom teacher. I guess she doesn't look like her with, you know, with her hair all did up like that. Then again, I didn't really like focusing on her face or anything like that. I'm so done. I can't believe I got caught by some of my own students. I should have taken a job outside of the city. <laughs> but I needed it to be close to school so I could go there after I finished work. Oh, jeez. Nah. Who did you hear about this from? Oh, it was Mr. Chuano, wasn't it? That harpy. Or Miss Chuano. Chono? Miss Chono, the English teacher. She's been snooping, all uh, snooping on all the teachers ever since that incident with Kamashita. Are you going to tell Miss uh, Chuono about this? Uh, what do you mean? Hmm, it doesn't seem like you're playing dumb. In any case, I'll get in big trouble if you tell on me. Oh. 
Hey, if you're going to side with the teacher, side with me. I'm in charge of your class, after all. And if you promise not to tell Miss Chuono about this, I'll do anything for you. Anything? Hmm, what to do? <laughs> hey, it won't be any better for you if people find out that you called a maid service. This isn't even your home address to begin with, is it? I guess you at least thought about that. Well, I'll promise to keep this a secret too, so why don't we both forget this ever happened? I'll treat this as if you had cancelled, so don't have to pay anything, okay? On that note, I'm leaving. <laughs> don't say anything about uh, this at school, okay? Just act as if nothing ever happened. Got it? Okay, bye. <laughs> Ooh, I suddenly feel exhausted. I want to go home. Yeah, we definitely want to uh, get that social link, though. Uh, sorry, I couldn't hold it in. You'll have to make some kind of excuse for me. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Employee posts nude a chef selfie. A what? While Duck Burger claims to... Wait. Yeah, Duck Burger claims to have fired the employee in question. Those close to the man voice their surprise, vouching for his seriousness at work. Is Shibuya unsafe? Crime rising. The police are issuing warnings for people to be wary of scams. Hotspots of Tokyo. Tickets for the Madarame exhibit are available until June 5th. The Madarame exhibit goes on until June 5th. That's the end of this week. We'll show him what a change of heart means. Uh, the pawn's um, bad today. I bet it's affecting mementos too. Uh, hey, there was something going on with Kawakami, wasn't there? Something involving Chuono? I'm not sure what's going on, but maybe you should ask her about it? She's probably still at school, right? Let's go look for her. Uh, I found a place. Good place to train. Nah, I don't want to check it out. I want to get a date with the teacher. I think I want to go see how Shio, uh, Shio is doing. Do you think you could spare some time to talk to me before I head over there, though? I could do it right now if that works for you. Uh, not right now. Try to look for that teacher. Teacher social link. Where is she, though? Faculty office? Where's the faculty office? It doesn't tell us. Mm. Faculty. Oh, there you are, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Miss Kawakami, I already know. Kawakami's been driven into a corner by Chono. Let's talk to her so we can help her out. As I've been saying, get home safely, Dreamkin. Well then, I have another matter to attend to, so I have to excuse myself. No, we're not finished talking yet. Uh, but I... There's been a series of scandals on this campus. We're all being called into question. And yet you leave work earlier than anyone, and you barely make it to the faculty meetings. Explain yourself. Don't tell me you're out running around at night. Kawakami's being grilled by Chuono. Uh, she said she'd do anything if we helped her out, so let's clear up Chono's suspicions. Uh, the school's closing soon, Mr. Dream. Head on home before it gets late. Or did you need something from Miss Kawakami? Uh, I have a question for her. What? Huh? Oh, you have another question? Another question? Uh, that's right. Uh, Dream Kun's questions are complicated, so I take time at night to help him. So you're giving individual lessons outside of school hours? Hmm. What passion. You are the ideal teacher. A passionate teacher is exactly what we need at this school. I'm sorry for suspecting you. Well then, cue up the hard work, you two. <laughs> she kind of convinced her. She just kind of convinced herself. But that did clear up her suspicion, so thanks. 
could you uh, come with me for a bit? Uh, I can't talk about this at school. Uh, this is the address and uh, phone number of my night job. I received Kawakami's phone number. Hell yeah. Call at night and qu request me. Just be careful that it doesn't show up in your call history though, okay? Aww. Yeah, you did it. No call history means a public telephone. Let's call from the LeBlanc's uh, yellow phone. Let's call Kawakami when you're free and invite her to meet you at your room. Okay, I have to go. Oh nice, so we actually didn't have to waste time doing that. So I can actually hang out with uh, either of them. Uh, they're both at the next level though. Level 4. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Anybody else I can hang out with? Uh... Yeah, Anne's there. Kami's there. Uh, I think they're all level 4 though. Who do I want to hang out with? Pretty sure the doctor's level 4. Yeah. Uh. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter which one to hang out with. Mm, I guess we're still Ryuji since he's right here. Let's go, let's go. Gym over in Shibuya. Oh yeah. I remember about this place. Here we are, Protein Lover's Gym. It's pay per visit so you don't gotta worry about any bullshit contracts or anything. The equipment's kinda crappy but they got tons of variety. Plus, it's really damn cheap. Uh, totally worth it. Even without a pool or hot tub. Oh, so yeah. Sounds like a U-fit. <laughs> oh yeah, you bring your stuff? Uh, let's see... A towel? Uh, protein powder? Hell yeah, man. If you wanna beef up, you gotta... Wait, that ain't it. I'm talking about spare undies. Oh, what? Getting back into your sweaty clothes after a nice hot shower is like the grossest goddamn thing. Oh, but don't go getting your hopes up. No way I'm gonna let you use mine. <laughs> Anyways, let's head in. Jeez. Uh, you can now quick travel to the sports gym in Shibuya. I wonder if we are supposed to, like, we can't access the gym until we get with Ryuji. Whew, my form's coming back, and, but I don't got any stamina. That's gonna be me once I start playing volleyball again. Sakamoto? Or Sakamoto? That was the guy again, probably. Nikita, senpai, what's book? Bonkin? 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 You say the strangest things. Is that how you greet a friend? <laughs> I've been trying to come up with some new cool slang. Maybe I'll catch on. You can't just do that. Oh, and you don't need to call me senpai anymore. I've already graduated, remember? Okay, so it's not the same person from the school. Hmm, I haven't seen you before. Were you on the track team? Hmm? Uh, he's, uh, a friend. Uh, by the time he showed up, the track team was already, well, you know. Speaking of which, how's your leg? Eh, uh, I'm managing. How about you, Senpai? Are you still running? I actually joined my university's track team. Uh, you'd think I would have quit entirely after what happened. How about that? I'm really sorry. No, I should be the one apologizing. I was supposed to be the leader of our team, yet I just resigned myself to Kamashita's will. And that's because you needed him to write your letter of rec, right? You were just looking out for your future, but I still managed to F it up anyways. Kamashita clearly never intended on writing my letter of recommendation. You were just his excuse not to. And honestly, I enjoy where I am now. The track team isn't anything special, but it's perfect for me. So in truth, I should be thanking you for what you did, Sakamoto. Or Sakamoto. Senpai. I've always regretted not doing more to protect you guys, but I heard some good news recently, the Sujin track team being reinstated. For real? <laughs> For real? I mean, Kamashita confessed all the horrible stuff he did, right? I guess the school got the old team together and told them they want to try starting it up again. Nobody told me about that. Huh, odd. The rumors got as far as me, and I'm not even a student anymore. 
Anyway, I heard they're going to get Mr. Yamauchi. Yamauchi? <laughs> uh, their new supervisor. Yamauchi. Hold up, that Yamauchi? Yep, uh, the one who was basically Kamashita's lapdog. Apparently he had volunteered. Uh, he's really enth enthusiastic about pulling the track team up from the ashes. He is. You know, uh, now that the team is being reinstated, there's no need for any bad blood, right? Why don't you go talk to them? I'm sure they could use someone with your passion. Yeah. Oh, there's a wooden dummy over there. So the track team's coming back. Good for them. Uh, you seem conflicted. Nah, not really. For real though, I'm glad the team's coming back. It's sweet that Akauka and that or and them can start training again. But I'm still worried about their super or advisor, Yamauchi. He's basically like a mini Kamoshida. Uh, so he's an asshole. Basically. Yeah, he'd always yell at us at practice, but then be a huge kiss ass when our parents were around. Ugh, I can't believe him more like that. Gotta be advising the track team. He doesn't even teach PE. He's gotta be up to something. Uh, I'll do some research. There's a chance I'm gonna need your help too, okay? You'll be free to lend me a hand if I need it, yeah? I'll be counting on you. <laughs> He's like, damn it. But oh, we in there. Hello, oh, five. Nice. Yes. Yes. All right. We don't have. Uh, we don't got time to be messing around here anymore. Let's head home. Wait. I gotta shower first. Jana. Jana. And just a couple more days, and Madarame will have his confession. Yo, what's bonking? <laughs> he said. Uh, I bought that stuff today. I can't really let myself be happy about the track team starting up again. Like I said earlier, there's just something fishy about Yamauchi being the advisor. But I mean, if anything happens, I know you got my back, so I ain't worried. And don't worry, I got you. I haven't agreed to anything. Thanks, man. I knew I could count on you. I mean, we don't know for sure if anything sketchy is going on. But when I get these gut feelings, they're usually right. Well, if I hear anything, I'll hit you up. Okay, later. Alright, who are we hanging out? Can we finally hang out with Shoujo? It's Wednesday. Oh, maybe I'll call Kawakami actually. Make that a uh, social link. I assume you are all curious, so I'm sending you an update just in case. Madarame is still bedridden. He hasn't spoken a single word. My apologies for not being able to provide anything more solid. Come on, it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. It is June already, though. The exhibition will be ending soon. At least it doesn't seem like Madarami's had a mental shutdown. But there's no point if he don't have a change of heart and call off that legal action bullshit. Was this how it was when you defeated Kamashita? Pretty much. Yeah, Kamashita was out of school for a while. Either way, there has been a no palpable progress. It appears only the target themselves can tell whether or not their heart has changed. It's a goddamn pain in the ass, but yeah. We just gotta hear from Madarame himself what the deal is. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Just, uh, let's just wait. Uh, try waiting a little longer. Nah. Oh yeah, let's call Kawakami. Is that a crossword? There's a dude. <laughs> there's a dude. There's people sitting there. Alright, let's call the maid delivery service. I don't have enough guts for that. God damn it. Uh. How do I get more guts? More guts. Who's here? EY, I don't have enough for that either. How do I get more guts at home? It's that beef bowl, but the beef bowl does not give me that much at all. The waste. Uh, should I just study? Let's look at ways to get more guts. Guts. Oh, guys, no guts. Guts, Persona 5 Royal. How to increase guts. Oh, 
Oh, movies, yeah. Try to get some guts. No, this place isn't open yet. Oh, yeah, doing the Takemi things is guts related to. That's only if she's willing to meet up with us, but she is not. Got the boy. Um, let's go to the here. Oh yeah, theater. Well, what we got going here? Guts. Picnic rises. Story about a caped hero trying to bring down a black forest of crime and corruption. Mm. Kindness. I don't want kindness. I don't want kindness. Cup of noodle. Cup of noodle. Oh. Raid Jazro, thank you for the raid, sir. Oh man, who that be? That be Madarame, actually. But how are you today? I mean, happy birthday once again. <laughs> Most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, keeping you cool this summer. Soothing soba is now on sale. He's over a week items, but then again, 200 is a lot. Mm, good, I am not considered an old man yet. <laughs> You're not an old man. Wait, I'm older than you. Thanks again for those subs, no problem. It is your birthday. It's happy birthday. Okay, the old man is Madarame. He's a old coot who uh, has been stealing art from his pupils. It's really messed up. Uh, we already beat him, so we're waiting these four days. I think you can see that's four days left. Yeah, in the top right. Four days until he uh, acknowledges the fact that he's been a scumbag. Um, uh, so for now, we're just uh, wasting days away until that time comes. He's stealing from people's eyes? No, just stealing from his students, but yes, pupils. <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, but yeah, the actual story is he would take in these like you know starving artists because you know being an artist in the modern world is very not lucrative. Um, so he would give them lodging and stuff, but they would work on their art. And he would take their art and claim it is his own. And they can't do anything about it because they are nobodies <laughs> while he is one of the greatest, quote unquote, uh, artists in the world, or at least in Japan. And we say that's messed up. <laughs> and so we made him get a change of heart. Well, it's in the works. We did the main thing, but it takes, again, until the deadline for him to actually be so filled with guilt and grief that he acknowledges the fact that he done messed up. <laughs> uh, how's my ankle? Yeah, I hurt my ankle, try to think now, two Tuesdays ago. Is it two? Maybe three Tuesdays ago. 
and for the most part it's healed. Uh, it's still stiff. It doesn't have a full range of motion quite yet. And so um, I've been doing my best to keep it rested while still trying to you know, regain the strength in them so that I can start playing volleyball again. <laughs> Look at all that yen, yeah, 139,000 as a high schooler. Uh, though, if you change it into dollars, US dollars, that's, uh, you know, move to decimal place twice, give or take. And we have about $1,400. Was it sprained? Yes, unfortunately, it was sprained because a player decided to cross under the net after they spiked the ball. And I was trying to block. But their feet were there to impede my ankle from landing appropriately. So it sprained. Bad player. Yes, bad. Bad. Um, so skill-wise, he's good. Skill-wise, he's good, but play style is too reckless for my taste. And honestly, you know, after it sprained, I sat there for the rest of the time at the venue just watching. <laughs> and uh he crosses over a lot so i'm like that's so bad so i am pretty much boycotting that place <laughs> especially because it's a very far away venue and the play is very mediocre so it's like it's not worth not worth going at least not anytime soon uh you are going to try to get the mobility back yeah um between actually you know doing different like exercises like i did a little bit of exercising today then I felt it kind of be a little iffy so I stopped before I re-injured myself <laughs> but I also uh, move it around my hand and like massage the area so they can uh, again he heal and not to uh, have too much scar tissue well up because that's kind of what happened on my other ankle when I sprained that one uh, about three or four years ago um, I think the fact that I didn't really uh, rehab it correctly, it took a little longer. Um, so yeah, this time I definitely did uh, Epsom salt baths and ice baths for my foot. And yeah, where it was definitely not as bad as the, first or the other time. Then again, the type of sprain I did the other time was different from this one. Um, but nevertheless, it still took me like a month. So I went back and honestly, I feel like right now I could technically go back and just not jump. I can, you know, just stay on the ground and move around probably. But even then I decided not to just wait another week. Uh, hopefully by next week I am ready to go, but I am not going to push it if I don't feel like it's a good idea. Um, yeah, be soon. Yep, I'll get back as soon as possible. Yeah, it's been weird, yeah, just not going to volleyball because for a while volleyball has been the thing I do like every day. <laughs> yeah. But if anything, it's been a while since I've taken a actual break from volleyball, so it's probably a good idea that I did it. That I stated icing wounds is actually uh, is good recently said it was bad to do oh no physical therapy like you moving is better yeah i was told that um icing is good at the onset to help reduce inflammation and then now that most of that's gone so pretty much when i think if there's still swelling then it's okay to ice but then once the swelling is gone heat therapy is actually the better thing to do um i do have this heat pad but it's just hot <laughs> too hot to use um oh anyways let's study we gonna study but yeah just try different things Slowly but surely i'll get back to it but yeah we'll see oh yeah knowledge yeah, it's good to reduce swelling, yeah. 
It's really hard to uh, prop my leg up <laughs> when I'm sleeping. I mean, I still do have my body pillow, which I did actually use to prop my leg up <laughs> at night. What's Makoto? Um, but yeah, uh, those you know first couple nights were definitely rough. Why did Mr. Kamashiro change all of a sudden? Uh, he grew a conscience. Is that your hypothesis? It's still too sad. Uh, but yeah, after the first week, I didn't really raise my leg as much. Uh, it still swelled a little bit, so I probably should have kept, you know, doing all that. But <sighs> lazy. <laughs> uh, I'm, I guess icing it slows blood flow, which in return will slow the healing. But again, this is just me listening to what is said on the internet. Um, I think if it's a full body ice thing you do, it might be good because it makes the blood flow. Like pump around your body because it makes your heart, you know, try to heat yourself up, right? Because you're freezing. <laughs> and so, yeah, I think, the, you know, reducing swelling is good. But also, if your whole body's cold, then, uh, yeah, your heart will pump the blood throughout your whole body. Uh, but yeah, I think localized icing isn't necessarily that beneficial. But yeah, total body icing, yeah, that's a different story. Mm, but again, people know their own body the best, so I know you will be back at it. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been walking around with a minor limp, because again, I can't like push off of my left ankle that well without it either feeling too stiff or maybe just straight up having a little sharp pain, so <laughs> I don't. Um, Takemi. Are right, we gonna hang out with Takemi? I really need to upgrade my guts. Oh, Jazzro, thanks for your subprime. Prime sub? Subprime. <laughs> Prime sub, I appreciate it. Thanks for spreading that birthday cheer. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'm good to go by next week. Oh, the Kick Neck Rises is still there. I, d I still don't want to watch that. Subprime in the Prime Sub. Hell yeah. Uh, wait, what does this do? Does this give me more guts? This gym, we've been here before. Oh, never mind. It's going to increase my max HP and SP. Ooh. The more you go to the gym, the greater the effect will be. Check your schedule and use the gym wisely. I probably won't go though. I will say though, since I've been home, I've been trying to do home workouts. So I'm a little bit sore. I've been doing, I did push ups yesterday, push ups and uh, some shoulder exercises. That's Makoto, she's chasing us around even out here. That is whack. I don't know if they added that in this, but in the original, I did not <laughs> realize this was going on. Oh, oh, hello. Are you alone? Are you going to meet uh, Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san? Um, I don't mean to pry, I was simply wondering. <laughs> yeah, she was actually tasked by the principal to follow us around and like see what we were up to, investigate us, and I you know, didn't really know that was a thing until now. I'm very curious if they had that in the original. Um, need to get back to the gym, been taking it easy since I fell ill, no! Oh, she's a Neon? Wait, Spy, wait. <laughs> Did autocorrect follow you? Or... Oh, are you talking about, uh, Neon from Nikkei? Yeah. <laughs> Secret Super Spy. I remember that. That's so funny. Uh, that's so funny. I'm guessing you keep up with Nikkei? See, I've been faithfully playing it every day to get my dailies, because, you know, you get those free gems. Uh, let's... Hang with the doctor. Yep, doctor. And we do have the persona, the death persona, Nue. So yeah, sounds good to me. How are your allergies? I've got medicine for them. Just one dose should take care of them in theory. So, what are you here for today? Uh, let's do that trial, baby. In that case, my little guinea pig, there's something I want to test out today. Nice. Yep, hanging out. Uh, you've been playing every day too? Nice, nice. 
Um, yeah, 12k gems. Nice. Yeah, I have very close to that, actually. It's like 11k 700 or something like that. So free to play? Hell yeah. That's pretty much how I do every um, mobile game. Because yeah, there's so many, so it's like if I pay a little bit in all of these, then I'm just going to end up being broke. <laughs> so, and all this money that I'm not spending on uh, you know, mobile games, these microtransactions, I am buying games on sale <laughs> on Steam. So that's what I've been doing with uh, the money saved from not playing or not paying for these mobile games. So yeah, I haven't paid anything into Genshin or Star Rail or um, no, Nikkei. I used to play this Final Fantasy mobile game called Record Keeper, Final Fantasy Record Keeper. I think that was my first and well, I think I've done like five dollars here and there, like very seldom. Um, two other random games that I don't play anymore. Um, so yeah, I think that was why, or like kind of the reason why I stopped paying, like falling into that trap of paying for <laughs> microtransactions. Because like here I am. Well, technically I played that like eight years ago. It was like forever ago, maybe even longer than eight, maybe in a decade. Um, yeah, I stopped playing it, so it's like that 50 or whatever dollars went to waste. Because <laughs> again, in these games, it's usually you buy crystals or gems so they can do more pulls. At least that's what I usually uh, buy uh, if I did pay it's for more pulls. Which, if anything, that is probably the worst thing you could do. Uh, it's better to buy something that's like guaranteed, like whether it's a costume alternate skin or like you know a weapon or even a character um, but buying for those gems to hopefully pull something is yeah that's dumb <laughs> um let's see stop star rail due to no controller support for mobile no but you what kind of phone do you have because i feel like star rail plays pretty good especially since uh it's turn-based so you don't have to you know be that uh precise in your playing but yeah sometimes i do play star Wars on my mobile phone um uh, see so yeah, i have to have paid into games then quit so uh but now i'm just like nah but still get a little tempted yeah it's hard sometimes especially nikkei with their alternate costumes <laughs> But yeah, so far I have not bought anything, and I've gotten a lot of, you know, SSRs for sure. Um, I've gotten five characters to max core break, which is nice, because then all you have to do now is upgrade the synchro machine. And then, you know, everybody that's in the synchro machine uh, is at the same highest level, so that's good. I can actually do the daily simulation. Uh, just do the highest difficulty and final dungeon just be done <laughs> instead of having to do like all three of like a certain uh, difficulty level just do like the last so like things like rank five third that or whatever whatever um yeah just finish <laughs> just do it one go it just saves me so much time um just playing oh you have the same phone i do the samsung s22 i think we i think i asked you that before actually but you're playing on the ipad oh the ipad is really bad with controller support well, i guess it would be hard to play ipad <laughs> the way the uh, star rails controls are um yeah same the three stars nice nice yeah so you're pretty far into the game as well i haven't really been keeping up with doing the campaign though so i'm just lazy <laughs> i know i'd leave an auto battle it's kind of whatever but still i don't i don't do it when i should i should moshi moshi <laughs> hello dr takemi's clinic of internal medicine what again that's well the ship's already sailed so ah <sighs> what a pain oh what <coughs> Excuse me. Remember that girl from the other day, the chief of staff, uh, Yamada's patient? Her dad's been bringing her here to be treated, even though I referred them to another hospital. I even told them about the medical error I made. 
Oh, I should pull up the actual dialogue options. So I pick up, pick the best dialogue options. Um, they trust you. Yeah, well, this choice doesn't matter. I'm just a quack, though. <laughs> the medical error was well documented. Everyone in my field knows about it. I led the development of a new drug for an incurable illness called Crawford Ends a Disease. Uh, although I wasn't the one who administered the medicine, it was the cause of the error. With Crawford Ends, uh, certain cells indiscriminately attack other cells throughout the body. Sounds like autoimmune disease. When it reaches the muscles, the patient slowly begins to die. There hasn't been much progress made on it, uh, partly because there haven't been many cases of it. I worked with a pharmaceutical company that uh, had reached the final stage of production, but one day I was suddenly removed from my position. The chief of staff, Ayamada, uh, my superior at the time, took over the entire operation. I don't know if he wanted the glory of developing a new drug or to become rich and famous, but he made careless mistakes and rushed completion so that uh, so he could use it on a patient named Miwa. Miwa-chan had a reaction and lapsed into critical condition. The chief panicked and laid the blame on me. Oh, so she was a scapegoat. Miwa-chan and her family resented me. No matter what I said, I couldn't change how they felt about me. Uh, It's not too late. That's so messed up. Well, that doesn't matter. The development of the medicine was suspended, so I had no reason to stay at that hospital. At least now I can keep working as a general practitioner, on my own terms, with my guinea pig. <laughs> that's us. Uh, that's a new medicine I've been trying out on you. This version is in the final stage of testing. It searches for those cells that make or that take the offensive and destroys them upon detection. That's why it's harmless for people who don't have the disease, probably. Uh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of faith in me. Thank you, my little guinea pig. Yeah. Nice. Um, I right, see so you have the 22 plus. Nice. Yeah, I decided to just go with bare bones. 22. That's 22. Because I know I don't really use my phone that much, so I don't want to spend too much on my phone. Um, But yeah, just a more updated phone was good enough. But yeah, battery's a little better too. Other than that, no major difference. True. I'm trying to remember if the S22 Plus had more storage. That could have been a thing too. Oh, so it was the Ultra. Because I know Mandeth actually has the same phone too. But she, hers is the Ultra. So she threw down that cash. <laughs> Alright, you gonna head out. Sounds good. Have a good night. Thanks for the raid and thanks for the Prime sub. I know it's not your birthday anymore, but might as well still be your birthday. So happy birthday, part three. <laughs> Till next time. Let's see, uh, you better not flake on me this late in the game. I'm itching closer to the finish line, but I need your help to reach it. In exchange, I can offer you medicine at a special price. I'm counting on you, guinea pig. Sounds good. We have the collection then? <laughs> yeah, true. I have the regular S22, you have the 22 plus, and Mandeth has the Ultra 22. Immunization, add support items to the inventory at the clinic. Nice. Now, what uh, should I do about that girl and her dad? Being mean and scaring them hasn't worked. It's been a while since I've had to deal with this kind of nuisance. Uh, it's stressing me out. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's all I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, you can go home now. Uh, yeah, we got some guts. Okay, I need to level up my guts to the next rank so I can start doing some of these other uh, things. So hopefully this increases soon. Yeah, I'm actually locked out of two uh, Arcanas social links because that's not level three. Uh, you doing okay, my little guinea pig? Just wanted to check up on you. Also, sorry for the long talk today. I wasn't planning on telling you all that about Mio chat. Yeah, you're the first person I've really shared all that with. But it was also a good reminder that it's something I have to do as the plague. Uh, thanks to you, the drug's development is progressing very smoothly. 
If there are no uh, no issues with this latest sample, I think we're right on the edge of finally finishing it. Oh, uh, sorry. Looks like I've got a patient. Uh, maybe that girl and her dad came back. I have to go. See you later. Nice, nice. I should probably save. I haven't saved in a while. Uh, you've been carrying around that city armor. Nope, don't want to do anything with that. Let's see. Who wants to hang out tonight? Are you available? Nope, we are not available. Let's hang out with Deji Sojiro. Make sure I have my Orbas. I do. Yep, hanging out with Sojiro. Nice. Uh, but it won't deepen. That's fine. Let's just help them out. Call it a day. I did just as he told me. Maybe there's a way to m make sure Soldier has a good time. Oh, that's right. I have something Soldier might like. Considering Soldier, I feel like he may appreciate something useful to him. Oh, Robo machines. Uh, Robo machines. This is for me. Uh, what do I do with this? Well, I guess it's the thought that counts. Nah. <laughs> yeah, it feels like I didn't really impress Sojuro much with my gift for him. I guess because he already has aroma around <laughs> with the coffee. Oops. Oh well. Maybe I should start buying different uh, gifts in case, yeah, that happens. Ooh, you can read another book. Unfortunately, we don't have any books that increase guts, which is very sad. So these are both knowledge, proficiency I don't want. Uh, maybe read this. And as much as I do want to increase knowledge, um, it's okay if I don't. Uh, that book talks about Takenoko Street in Har Harajuku, right? Uh, oh no! That was a waste. Oh, nice! I actually don't have to waste time on that one. Uh, so I don't want proficiency. I guess we'll just go knowledge then. Be knowledgeable about internet crimes. That's fine. Good or evil, the threat of Medjet could be felt all over the world. There's danger afoot in the internet too. Of course, the dark web. It's a scary place. I didn't get far. I think as long as we don't waste time doing nothing <laughs> productive, then good. Uh, oh, we should definitely hang out with the counselor. How have you been? If you don't mind, could I come ask for your time? Mm, let's go see him. I think Ryuji was the other meeting. Alright, let's go. It's kind of speed up. I wanted to finish Madarame's arc. So let me do this a little faster. Well, uh, today is just going to be another back and forth as usual. Or will it? Today is your lucky day. Please take a look at what's on the table. Snacks. I mean, I'm making you listen to all this tough stuff about traumas, pain, and grief lately. So I found these cookies in an underground mall. Now we can have a little break. They're kind of fancy cookies, too. I thought I'd get a surprise for you since uh, you've been kind enough to indulge me all this time. Go ahead, enjoy. Uh, this looks great. You just take cash. Go on, don't be shy. I've got enough for seconds, too. Uh, oh, I know. As long as we're talking about cookies, uh, they actually re uh, reminded me about this psychological experiment. The scientists prepared two containers and put the same kind of cookies in both of them. In one container, they put only one cookie. Uh, the other one was filled with cookies. Ten of them! So they had their subjects try cookies from each container and asked how their tastes compared. Which containers' cookies were marked as tasting better? Any guesses? Uh, it doesn't really matter. There's a tie. I see. You're a rationalist, aren't you? Unfortunately, the truth is that they preferred the isolated single cookie. 
Uh, there's something called the Law of Scarcity. Oh yeah. I learned about that recently. It's about what you'd imagine from the name. People are drawn to things that are more scarce. You can see this law in action just by observing how excited people get over limited edition merchandise. Uh, you know, you're right. <laughs> Aha, I know, right? Don't you think it's really fascinating? In becoming aware of scarcity, we trigger our own desires and cause a change in our cognition. Not only that, the effect spreads to our senses and creates a subjective, observable difference in our reality. Basically, your perceptions can be changed uh, by your cognition or preconceptions. <laughs> it's all below the conscious level, but it's really incredible. Uh, incidentally, now that you've heard that story, how do you feel about that idea? That your unconscious desires may have changed the taste of the cookie? Uh, my senses lied to me. Uh, as long as it tastes good, I think. Yeah, it depends, yeah. As long as it tastes good. Yeah, that's definitely not the usual response, but it's one I can understand. It probably sounds like an exaggeration, but something about that seems so beautiful to me. Maybe the human heart can falter or be unreliable at times, but if this experiment proves anything, it's that even a simple preconception can be enough to bring someone more joy. For example, take that story I just told you. What if you'd eaten that one cookie and it had been the best cookie of your life? Say I never revealed the trick behind it. Uh, that cookie would have remained more delicious than usual. It would have been a subjective truth of your reality. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> right, I'm glad to hear you say that. Basically what I want to say was... If this idea of preconception could be studied further and actually applied to treating people, I feel like it could help a lot of people. Maybe even more than I could help through counseling. Uh, then again, it relies so heavily on perspective. Some people might call it a lie or see it as running from problems. Still, even if that's true, I still believe that method could save a lot of people. Mm, oh, yikes, I'm so sorry. We wound up getting into an academic conversation after all. I really need to watch myself. Whenever I'm talking to you, somehow I always end up going back to my research. Mm, happens. I truly am grateful for everything you've done. Be, uh, not just because I can get your opinion on these things, either. It's more like, it's as if I'm talking to an old friend. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that's too personal. After all, this is all for the sake of our deal, right? So we say, so we say anyway. Nice. Level up. Uh, level 5. Chance to restore Joker's SP when it is low. Ooh. That's interesting. That's really good. Now then, I'd better show you another way to mentally train yourself. What I'm going to teach you today is... Nice. More SP. Oh, and here, uh, never a bad time for a snack, right? Don't worry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Make sure you get home before it gets too dark, okay? Sounds good. Oh yeah, there's still a uh, answer to this. I really don't mind. Oh, this is Maruki. Uh, sorry about earlier. It was supposed to be a big chance for us to relax, but it ended up being another big academic discussion. I really don't mind. It's thought provoking. Really? Wow, I'm so happy to hear that. I've always been like this. I get so hyper focused on my research. I don't notice anything else. Back when I was a student, people kept warning me about that. Oops, there I go rambling again. Sorry, sorry. Alright, uh, see you again soon. Alright, who are we hanging out with today? More soldier roll time? Oh yeah, we are. So I can't hang out with EY, so yep, yeah, more soldier roll time. Soldier roll time. Don't think we can deepen just yet. Oh, it's taking so long. Oh, that's okay though. Uh, Sojiro's guidance is extremely precise. I did just as he told me. Nice. We're gonna grow closer soon. 
I thought it was a waste of two days, but at the same time, yeah, whatever. All right. It's been getting humid lately, huh? But it's times like these that when you've just got to push through the fog. Don't let the weather get to you. Well, that was the plan anyway. And then I got police officers asking what I was up to. Do I really look that suspicious? Oh, uh, but speaking of looks, have any of you seen someone you thought was cute and immediately decide they must be nice too? That thought, always, that thought process is totally normal, if not always accurate. There's even a name for it. Oh, any guesses, Dream Coon? Let's see. What do you think the name of this phenomenon is? Halo effect? Uh, Halo effect. Halo effect? Halo effect. Uh... Yep, Halo effect. <laughs> Destiny effect. Correct, I'm surprised you knew. You get distracted by superficial qualities and your broader perception of someone can get biased. Once you get that far, it's hard to make totally objective judgments. Like, that person is quiet, so they must be scary, stuff like that. Ah, true. Always the quiet ones. <laughs> Whoa, he actually knew that? Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Wow, you must be really smart. Yes, we are. Not sure when we'll rank up in knowledge. That'll definitely be one of the longer ones to increase, but... The hell effect is not all bad, but... I recommend you give people the chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. After all, it's, it'll be a shame if your biases kept you from noticing something truly wonderful about someone, right? Plenty of terrible people uh, look perfectly decent on the outside. But Lady Anne looks perfect. And she is per she is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Anne could even hear that. She's sitting right in front of us. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Weather uh, very well may have the same effect on mementos as it has on humans. Wait, do we have nothing to do today? It's because it's raining. It's probably because it's raining. It's because it's raining! Raining! Um... Try and think. Uh, let's read the library, I guess. I haven't done that yet. Library. Library. Wait, can we... Teleport to the library? Oh, is this the first time at the library? Oh, that badge. Are you a second year? Are you the transfer student? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. Um, anyway, it's my job to explain the rules of the library to first-time visitors, so... You can borrow books from the library. Furthermore, if a desk is available, you can use it to read or study. More books will be added as the seasons pass. Stop by to see what they are, uh, have. You're only, one, or you're only allowed to borrow one book at a time. Once you finish reading, please be sure to return it. How should I say this? Uh, you're different from what I've heard. Uh, I'm glad we were able to talk normally. <laughs> uh, there may be times when other students give you a hard time, but please don't mind them. Feel free to use the library whenever you want. Glad we're able to talk normally, she says. Just how exaggerated are those rumors? Uh, Books. Books? Books? All the books are pretty tough. Oh, wait, where do I go to borrow said books? By the receptionist. She needs something. I like to borrow a book, please. See if there's any Guts books. You only borrow one book at a time. Great Thief, Knowledge, Guts. I definitely want the Guts. Increases your speed reading, easy to learn, but I can't get it. Oh, that one. Unfortunately, I can't lend that to you. Someone else already checked it out. A what? It's surprisingly popular. Uh, someone else snatches it up as soon as it's returned. Hmm. Well, there's nothing we can do about it or do if it's checked out. We can always come back later and try to get it. Uh, but yeah, the pirate. Give me some guts. Give me some guts. Guts.
I guess I'll study at night. Uh, the lone pirate ship sailed forward, forging its own path through the crashing waves. The pirate captain kid, huh? Ryuji should read this book. Won't forget any guts by reading halfway. No. Uh, nope, we don't get anything, unfortunate. Hopefully I don't need more guts to do more of Takemi's stuff. Alright, who are we hanging out with today? Exhibition uh, ends tomorrow. Madurame must have had his change of heart by now, right? I'm sure he'll be fine. So far nobody's uh, come charging us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? Uh, what should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He's still staying with Madurame, right? Oh, that's right. Where's Yusuke? Wonder if he'll be okay with Madurame. Sorry I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Madurame is on the phone as we speak. Uh, with who? Uh, likely the media. I haven't heard anything in the conversation in this conversation about pressing charges. Guess we just gotta wait then. Let's us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. Sojuro. Now we're gonna hang with Sojuro. Oh, it's became sunny slash not raining, so I guess it's better to hang with Sojuro. Alright, Sojuro. Level me up, bruh. Help him out. Alright, I'll teach you how to make a good coffee. Okay, today we're gonna try brewing a cup of coffee from step one. Just listen to what I tell you. These beans are Colombian. A medium fine roast. Or city roast. Oh, and don't let the water boil too much. You're gonna be fine. I'll be here the whole time. Not bad. Though I guess anyone can do something as simple as just brewing it. Making a blend, on the other hand, is a different story. Mixing beans at random won't do you any good. Uh, that's because the acidity and the flavor profile all depend on the bean ratio. Pretty deep, eh? Tell me more. Tell me more. Oh, somebody's enthusiastic. If you're really that interested, feel free to try out whatever combinations you want. Oh, but hands off the expensive beans, got it? Next up is the curry. There's something special about its flavor. The truth is, a scientific genius actually came up with the perfect spice combo to complement my coffee. Uh, something about the quantification of taste. Uh, there's no formula for flavor, but it is pretty damn good. Anyhow, uh, we don't make compromises when it comes to food service. Our stuff's gotta wow the customers. This is a tiny shop after all. Self-satisfaction is the only thing that keeps me going. Uh-oh. You. Haven't I told you I don't have the money? Look at this place. You see many customers in here? Oh, uh, no need to hide it, Sakura-san. You must have saved plenty from your time working in the government. Aren't you taking care of that employee right there too? For nothing more than charity? I wish you showed me the same kindness you show others. If you're not planning on buying anything, can you please leave? I'm expecting a phone call, so I don't have time to chat with you. I don't mind if you take the call in front of me. I can talk to your little friend here in the meantime. So should we keep talking until your call comes in? Or would that be too inconvenient for you? Well, looks like Soldier was in trouble. What should I do? Call his phone. Kick the man out. Run for help. Yeah, we're going to call his phone. Oh, there's the social service call I was waiting for. They come around pretty often to make sure this guy is not getting in any trouble. Want me to introduce you? Oh, that's right. I have some business I need to take care of myself. I'll come back later. <laughs> Does he really have nothing better to do? I guess I should explain what's going on. He might try and drop by when I'm not around. That man is an old acquaintance of mine who's short on cash right now. Looks pretty friendly, yeah? Don't let him fool you. That's all an act. I have to say, though, I'm surprised you were quick-witted enough to pull that stuff off. 
You really saved me back there. Thanks. No problem. So drill. Nice. Allows you to make curry that slowly restores SP to all allies. Nice. Uh, you can make curry on days when there are ingredients in the, uh, for curry in the refrigerator at LeBlanc. You'll be unable to make curry during the day and after school when the cafe is open. Try cooking at night when the stove is free. Still, why do you poke around into other people's troubles? It's way easier to ignore them. I guess that's just uh, the kind of person you are though, huh? Yep, we're just here to help, bruh. It's that time already. <sighs> I'd report him to the cops if he wasn't related to her. Who? Oh, uh, never mind that. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Go study or something after you close up. Nice. It's a bunch of kindness. I believe I need kindness for Anne. Uh, hey, James. Sorry about that today. Uh, didn't mean to get you wrapped up in my problems. I probably don't have to say it, but if that guy shows up while I'm out, just try to ignore him, okay? Uh, just let him do his thing and get on with the job. Got it? Understood? Good. Whatever he says, just don't let it get to you. You're still under probation, so don't cause a scene, yeah? Yeah. Alright, I'm trusting on or trusting you on this. Later. Later. Alright, time to see what's up. With Madarame. Oh, there it is. The press conference. Is he crying? Oh, his voice is cracking. <laughs> He's ugly crying. <laughs> Repossessed. Nice. Was he on TV the other day? Responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. It's kind of funny because this reminds me of the story. I guess it's be a spoiler, but of K drama. I watched pretty recently, actually. I guess I won't name the actual show, but yeah, we made they made the old geezer kneel before <laughs> the protagonist. Beg for mercy. <laughs> Still harsh, that's impossible. Wait, what? Oh, that's not the Makoto. It's interesting because you can't, at this point, really tell it who's good or bad. Because they both seem bad. <laughs> but. Oh, 
けどよ、面白くなってきたな。うまくやりゃ、狙った通りに近づいてきた。この力、マジで見返すどころか、世の中大騒ぎになんじゃね。This will be fun. ガンガンやってやろうぜ。この調子でどんどん広まってかねえかな。二度目ってのもでかいぜこんな偶然普通ねえからな続けていけば絶対みんなに勇気与えられる気がするあ少し静かにした方が良さそうだ知り合いバカほどいいんだ君たちちょっといいかなああかご用でしょうか何度見てもしびれる棒読みぶり何してるのどういう友達 ?You are friends? Uh, oh, what do we look like? んんんだちち、違いますちょっと彼は見てないし Sorry, Anne. I thought that was a decent answer. Oh, I guess... There's, we're just not allowed to chill here. Anne's <laughs> too cute. Anne's <laughs> too cute. Anne's too cute. Anne's too cute. Anne's too cute. Anne's too cute. まさか会話聞かれたりとか平気だよこの人混みだ気にしてんのは俺たちだけそれもそうかところでさユウスケマダラメから何か聞けた怪しいやつがどうのとか言ってたじゃんそれがラックマスク追い詰めては見たんだがやつは自分に何が起きたかさえ理解していない私らに欲望を取られたこと実際に見たわけじゃないんだもんね下手すれば刑務所行きって噂だ奴から情報を得るのは難しいだろうなつか、うん、お前これからどうすんのあの家を出るよあんな場所では I can't draw on such a place anymore あってあるの Hey, I'm Ryuji's baby Oh, I'm gonna move that For some reason I thought he was gonna hang out at Ryuji's place You're that good. Oh, my God. 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 I think uh, Kaneshiro's next, right? It's more prep tile then. Let's get. Oh, 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 oh. She knows. You did it again. For someone you barely knew. Oh, it's not like he was trying to get a hold of the police. Oh, it's not like he was trying to get a hold of the police. Oh, it's not like he was trying to get a hold of the police. Oh, it's not like he was trying to get a hold of the police. そんな話出まかせなら仲間と口裏合わせなんてできないはず。新しく加わった仲間のことを話しなさい。意地なんて張るのは無意味よ。サバマカラ。悪くするだけ。マダラメのたった一人の門下生なんて調べればすぐにわかることよ。ユスケ。Go right ahead.
I guess we're not. Oh yeah, we're not gonna sell out nobody. I forgot. <laughs> We're not gonna tell him about Yusuke. この頃からよね。怪盗団人気に火がつき始めたのはネットに嘘が溢れて自分にも予告状が届いただの。怪盗に助けて。金城。この男は今までの Easy. Get your sister involved. Yogi-shu-wa覚えていないなどと意味不明の供述を繰り返しており、警察では精神鑑定を行い、犯行の経緯や動機の解明を進めるとのことです。囚人学園の鴨志田。そして今回のまだらめ共通点がいくつか見つかっています。突発的な心変わりの直前に予告状が送られていたり。なるほどね。だが一連の精神暴走事件と関連付けるのは飛躍しすぎではないかね。そもそも君が踏み込めば警察が
Oh. We gotta pay to go to this place. But we are rich, so. It's only two bucks. Using the train, the school commuter train uh, pass allows you to travel for free on two railway lines. Uh, you have to pay a fare to travel outside of these areas, so make your travel plans accordingly. It's pretty cheap, though. Those two. Makoto, stop stalking us. <laughs> Bino knows her job right now. Sanpo Road. Oh, this is Kichijoji, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya from uh, just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah, it looks like there are a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Uh, not that I really know. Mm, seems interesting. Oh, it's got your attention now, huh? Yeah, it's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be fun to come here with some more people. I think the dart lounge is one block up from the main street. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of other shops on the way. Yeah, let's definitely see what we can get. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I actually don't remember this part of her stalking us like this. Got some stuff. Mm, what do you recommend? It's a Dars Lounge. Billiard board. Oh, that's pretty unique. Temple. It's a temple. Uh, about the city. Four different areas. The fried food shop. Stationary store. Secondhand clothing store and a temple. Ground beef cutlet. Fried food shop is delicious. We have to wait in line. If you take a left at the fried food shop, you'll see Retro Street. Here you can find a selection of chic and sophisticated stores. It's also a jazz club, jazz, jazz club at the end of the alley. Sometimes popular singers will go there and the liveliness is inevitable. Whew, hope I explained it all right. Do you have any other questions? Uh, please continue. All right. A healing crystal store. Ooh. Interesting. Anyways, uh, anything I should know? Something recently. Uh, about the fried food shop in the promenade, people say it's tedious to wait in line. And by night time, it's already sold out, so what do you to do if you want one? Sundays are more- they make more than usual. Okay, so Sundays is when you want to come here and buy stuff. At least this special beef cutlet stuff. Uh, I think we're done here. Oh, yeah. Free knowledge. Oh, yeah. Nice scholarly, baby. All right, what's over here? Stationary store. Oh, can we buy cards? Blank cards? Not quite. Uh, again, we should be buying a bunch of these in case we want to gift it to somebody. Especially if it's cheap. Hmm, I don't think you actually buy something. <laughs> uh, armor, right? Bring your city clothing here. Or what? City clothing. Uh, ow. At the second hand shop, you can sell city armor you own. Depending on what the city armor was originally, it may fetch a decent price. Oh, nice. For each clothing item you sell, you will obtain shop points, which can be traded for prizes. Nice. This is perfect. So this is definitely a different area. Like, I don't think they had this place in the original. Now that I... Yeah. <laughs> I've been to some of these shops. Alright, buy some of this shooty... Shooty? Sooty items. Okay. Hummer, hummer, hummer. I want to sell. Can I sell it all? Oh. Men's equipment cover and paint. Oh, I think that's the new stuff, right? I don't really care for it, though. Eleven. Goddamn. Oh, let's just sell all my clothes. Oh, yeah. Trash into treasure. Let's see what we got. What's this? 
Auto Matsu. No, that's good. Growing uh, I'm definitely gonna get this. I don't think I care for these. Yeah, that's a uh, the Kunda, I believe. It's only for one ally though. Anyways, let's buy this, and we have enough for this. I don't think I need these. Yeah, I don't really need these. Oh, four sets of used clothes. Oh, what? Uh, probably give it to Anne. Oh, never mind. I take it back. Hmm, I think that was kind of a waste, but well, it's too late. I thought it was like a gift I can give somebody. Well, it's kind of a weird store. But nice, we can actually not have to... Yeah. Wash all the old clothes. Oh, this is good though. Nice, nice. Ooh, nice. Uh, food. Special meat cutlet. Special meat cutlet at night. It's the temple over here. Oh, who's this guy? Good day, what brings you here? Oh, ho. surprised to see a monk? Fret not, I'm merely a fellow human being who eats and breathes just as you do. The temple is open to the public during the day. You are most welcome to visit anytime. Let's come back another time. We've got something else to do now. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, it looks like meat buns. Chinese buns. Uh, don't really need it. Oh, I can buy it. I can buy almost 99 of them if I wanted to. It's not really necessary though. Or is it? Maybe I should. Let's buy like five. Yeah, I'm rich as hell, so I don't really care. Uh, bar can't go there. What's a piano? It's over here. Oh, just more food. Ooh, to all allies. Combo popcorn. It's like emergency. <laughs> it's a piano thing. It's a club. Jazz club. Seems like a place for adults. Dude, you get jazz? That's cool. Either way, it looks like it's only open at night. Okay. It's kind of fun that there's a whole new place. Oh, there's a darts place. Oh, this is the road. I don't want to go in, though. The name of that shop makes uh, matches what's on the free tickets. It says Penguin Sniper, huh? Uh, Why did you give one of those doofy gun uh, birds a gun? It's not meant to be taken seriously, or literally. So if you're coming up with a good name, well, whatever, let's check it out. Okay, we don't have to go in right away. That's Magatamas. Magatamas. Optician. A store that only sells glasses. Check all the different kinds they have. I keep forgetting, but your glasses are fake, huh? What? <laughs> Do you think I'd look smart or smaller if I had glasses on? Wait, Joker's glasses are fake? No way. Oh, that's actually the wrong store. Crystal healing. Wait, no! I don't want to go in. You're such a kid or a child. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? You don't gotta tell me that. So it's funny. Want to head inside? Uh, still want to look around. Uh, I wanted to check out this crystal healing. Oh, Morgana! What's all these weird noises you're making? And power stones are those amulet type things, right? Uh, they've got some weird power or something. Let's check it out. Probably uh, accessories. Oh yeah, they are. Hell yeah. Ooh, black rocks. Ooh, amps. Ugh, I don't have enough money to just buy those. Let's buy a couple of these, though. I can only get four, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, not sure if or when I'll buy those, but I almost got bloody nose. Like, yeah, looking at those prices. 400 bucks per each. It's crazy. 
Right, what's over here? Oh, what's this? Incense store. Dude, I'm telling you, it seems a freaky or freaking fishy. You got no interest in incense, right? Uh, what would you even use it? In battle, probably. So those are part of the things that like would increase uh, everyone's stats, like temporarily. Like different types of stats. Uh, Alright, I'm actually going to end stream for now. Uh, here we got uh, what we needed done. Saw Monorame cry <laughs> on the TV. So that's good enough for me. Um, so yeah, have a good night, everyone, and I will see you all next time.